Welcome, it's the Bantha Bunch Show. Hello, you beautiful nerds. It's your country cousin's favorite cousin's favorite cousin, Bill. And this is the Bantha Bunch Show. We are here today joined with special guest, Kirsten Cobb. What up? You know excited. What I'm it's going yeah. down today. Because we a lot of shit. got a lot of shit to talk. Exactly. We got a lot of shit to talk. Not a lot of shit to talk about, but definitely a lot of shit to talk. <laughs> we are going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about the truth versus Alex Jones. You know what I mean? I should. I wanted to record myself doing some Alex Jones impersonations and just play them as drops throughout this today. But um, I lost my voice on Saturday. I am barely holding on today. Uh, I hope I sound pretty decent. I might not sound as good as I do now in about an hour or two. So, uh just want to say thank you to those who are watching. I know y'all going to fill it in here a little bit more. People are going to come in, but shout out to you people who are watching, the two of you, all two of you who are watching on Twitters. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, YouTube does, uh, doesn't like us right now. Uh, so make sure you like and subscribe because it really helps us get to a different audience, you know, broader audience. Make sure you share it with people. Share this with your grandmama. Share it with your auntie. Share it with your cousin. Share it with your brother and your sister. You know what I'm saying? But definitely your grandmama. Your grandmama gonna love this show. I'm just trying to tell you. Because your grandmama used to be out in the streets. I'm just trying to tell you. We're very grandma friendly. <laughs> yeah, this is a grandma friendly show. This is a grandma friendly show. Now, uh um, gone in the nursing homes. It's comforting. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so wait, what am I supposed to say? Oh yeah, go check out the Doesn't Hold Up episodes. Go check out uh, on the Drunk Banthas channel, and make sure you go subscribe to the Nerds at Night. Those of you who are watching on Drunk Banthas, go subscribe on the Drunk Banthas, and then shout out to those who are watching on Drunk underscore Banthas at Twitter. Um, yeah, we got a lot going on. The Drunk Banthas channel has it doesn't hold up. And Nerds at night, they got the Dragon Ball Z hip hop Hell yeah. video oh. out. Oh man, we got a lot going on. And uh, y'all are doing some numbers though. Congrats, seven oh. over seven thousand six hundred followers. What seven yeah. point hey. Shout out to all the new subs, man. We appreciate y'all. Um, yeah, this came out of nowhere. Y'all, y'all love us. YouTube hates us, but y'all love us. And that's why we stay, that's why we keep going. Otherwise, we would have quit doing this a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah. So, yeah, that's what's important. Make sure y'all go ahead and like and subscribe. Um, we got the merch in the in the description. Go get you some Drunk Banthas merch. If you really want to support us, that's kind of the best way to do it, right? Like, yeah. uh, But also, do the things that's free. Just like, subscribe. Uh, and like I said, share it with your grandma. Your grandma will block my voice. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, today we're going to be talking a little bit of nerd news. We got, like I said, the uh, truth versus Alex Jones. I mean, there's not really too much to talk about in the news. This is kind of boring. We do got the... Uh, the boardroom battle with Disney and we got the Netflix new chapter with Dan Lin. He's an established producer. That's going to be a good kind of run for Netflix. I think it'll give them a lot more kind of push in the film world because they've been getting a lot of good like movies and, and stuff contracted to them after they've come out in theaters. So I'm positive that Netflix will turn it around because they were a little lay booty last year, so. Yep. Well, I think, yeah, well, hold on. I think I'm still playing music. <laughs> yeah, it was on loop. <laughs> yeah, I could hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, why is that, why is that happening? That um, <laughs> yeah, the, the, it's, there's a lot going on in business these days. Mm -hmm. uh, Netflix, though, is like the is one of two streaming services that are profitable. And uh, it's True. been 
it's the most profitable by like hundreds of millions of dollars. So who knows who's going to come out on top, but Netflix right now is the leader in the race. And that is no doubt. There is no doubt in that. Um, but they're definitely getting better. Saw a lot of good documentaries that we've ended up covering yeah. right here. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I watched another one that was pretty good. Some decent TV, some not so decent TV. Three Body Problem. Well, yeah, they still have. Oh, I liked Three Body Problem. I was bored. I got bored, and I felt bad because I got bored. So I tried again. I got bored again. You didn't finish it. Nope. Oh, I got man. to like two more episodes, and I was like, I can't, I can't do it. See, I just, I, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I just liked it because, uh, well, I do like the nerdiness of it. You know, mm-hmm. the the boring part, hydron colliders, and all that stuff. Like, <laughs> I was just watching it, thinking, who is this for? I guess it's for me. And I don't <laughs> mind like the nerdy stuff. I just felt like they didn't put it together in a way that like kept. That kept my attention, but it could just be the mood I'm in lately, which has been very horror centric. So maybe I just oh, wasn't yeah. getting at the right time. This ain't, yeah, this ain't that right this moment. Mm-hmm. I can't. What I'll do with my lighter? You see the lighter over there? God damn! I'm sorry, this motherfucker. This is crazy, y'all. But y'all know how it goes down over here at the Bantha Bunch. Every once in a while, I forget my shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man thankfully we got a good producer in here we got producer frothy in here uh mm-hmm. penny producer p is over there sleep producer p sleeping on the job absolutely mm-hmm. useless producer <laughs> worst producer ever but she is adorable i can't remember none of the netflix movie uh docs that i've seen like that i haven't covered on here recently but there are some. No, you've H- been on top of it, yeah. HBO's got one that I just saw that's got like a, it's like a cult vibe. They just started week yeah. one. I can't remember the name of that. Um, I know I just watched on there um, about the Sunnyvale, Sunnydale cult, something where this lady yeah. died <laughs> from silver. Yep. The silver overdose was crazy. This bitch was gray. Oh no, that wasn't it. It's she another. Was that's perfect. another one. Yeah, that's another one that I want to see. And they put it in there too. I was surprised. Like all of a sudden, they're like, and there she was, just dead in the bed. And they showed it. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> hey, yeah. Nathalius, welcome. What up? What up? People be showing some crazy shit on there these days. They really do. I love Yo, it. What up? Oh, what's happening? I'm gonna light one up for the big O right now. Um, <laughs> What was I about to say? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to look up that documentary mm-hmm. that I'm talking about. It just had one episode, so it's brand new. Left me on a cliffhanger like a motherfucker. It's like this dude who was, uh, <clears throat> he was, like, trying to help drug addicts. So he, like, started this commune to help drug addicts. But it turned into a cult? And then, yeah, it turned into a cult. And, like, they was playing these games where they, like, basically, they call it the game. And basically, the way you win the game is talk shit about each other. Like, you just yell at each other and fucking call each other punk-ass bitch. You so old it's high funky. school? That's how you fix But it's like a therapy. It's like a therapy session. So you're, like, in a room with a bunch of people, and you're all just yelling at each other, like, organized verbal assault. <laughs> it's it's incredible. It was incredible in a in a bad way. Like it was incredible. How's that like helping? I don't know how it helps. I guess the, the idea is is that like I'm gonna say everything I need to say, even mm. though it's like negative. I'm gonna get these thoughts off. Right. And at the same time, I need to hear those thoughts so mm. that I can like come to grips with my own insecurities type shit. Yeah. But fuck all that. I don't fuck with none of that. That sounds ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not trying to... You're not fixing to just be talking shit about me. Calling me a fucking bitch-ass no. cunt. 
Like that's not helping. Because <laughs> I'm, <gonna, laughs> I'm gonna get up. We gonna start throwing hands. It's yeah, gonna, I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> it's gonna be some furniture boot. And then everybody's sad. Right, but then somehow they all came up out of that shit with love. I don't get it. I'm sorry, that sounds a little caucasity for me. But as those things tend to go, those people started, you know, turning on each other. Mm-hmm. Free love is like what makes communes not work. The idea that you can fuck somebody else's girl. And they not gonna be mad. Like, it depends oh, fuck on somebody the relationships, else's relationships. But yeah, I mean, I think the <laughs> communes, the biggest failure for them is that they're fucking crazy. There's well, not a single one that doesn't have a doctrine that's like out of control. Some of them, like the ones, some of them in the seventies, or rather the sixties. Some of them in the sixties definitely had control. But what brought them down is the free love part because ain't nothing free ain't nothing free in life <laughs> and so you out here i mean you can't control how other people gonna feel is basically no. what i'm saying yeah so you might be like yeah i'm good with my girlfriend having sex with this other girl or this other dude but how you know she okay with you fucking like some other dude or some other girl that, like, that beautiful C word called communication. Right. But people don't talk to one another. And so then they end up with this this skewed view of everything because they're sitting in their own fucking thoughts. Right. Sometimes though you might think that you can handle it. But then in that moment happens when, <laughs> when you see it happening. You, you gotta like, talk. Instead, people clam up and just sit there the whole day, and it's like, just say something. Right. And in the 60s, didn't nobody talk about their feelings at all. No. So there come, then comes the violence, and mm-hmm. then comes the, well, I'm leaving, and then there's this divide. Where somebody makes the purple Kool-Aid, but they add this special ingredient, rat poison. <laughs> exactly. Communicate. Communicate. They can't. It's weird. They can. It's weird. They got too much communication in their name. They they can't communicate. Hey, Phil Beach. I know I'm here. I'm trying to be here more. I'm a little bit more leveled out these days, so I'm good. Yeah, we here, man. You know, it's Bantha Bunch time, man. We got to get it in. I got to get a video like of us all in the block so we can put us all in the blocks. Yes. Yeah, I was going to work on that. I was going to get new updated photos of you guys or like little mini clips. Oh, yeah, that'd be dope. (laughs) Yeah, because that's, oh, man, that's hilarious. I literally (laughs) came up with the Bantha Bunch show on the fly. I think I was doing, I I, I think we were recording when I came up with, (laughs) like, we might have been actually recording. I was like, man, what do I call this? Bantha Bunch? Okay, boom. I was like, this shit is great. What a great concept. Because you can have on any guests at any time. And it's still part of the bunch, you know? So. It's amazing. Out. It's amazing. I it's like. It. Uh, I feel like I treat it. For those who are watching. We treat this show like the Mr. Rogers neighborhood. I don't know if y'all seen Mr. Rogers neighborhood. But <laughs> Mr. Rogers would come in on his house. And he'd be kicking it. And you just kicking it with him. And then he would say you know, read a book about something or give you some information on something, give you some game. Mm-hmm. Or he would have somebody come over, like just somebody who just happens to stop in. Like, well, yeah. Teach you some stuff. Yeah. He's you one of the first something. TV shows to have a black um, man come over that, you know, was, I believe he was a postman and like yeah, they shared a pool man. together, like they put their feet in the pool and it was like, oh, I can't believe he's done that. But Mr. Yeah, Rogers was, was just, he was just a good man. Just use this. Yeah, the Eddie Murphy version is funny as fuck, though. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, no, I, oh, yeah, dog. No. Yeah, I was trying to say that I was the first black Mr. Rogers, but, but Eddie yeah, Murphy. Yeah, Mr. Robinson's it, sure. neighborhood. <laughs> good morning to you. I love Mr. Robinson's neighborhood. <laughs> Elias says, this more like the Eddie Murphy version of Mr. Rogers. That's, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yep. 
Uh, <laughs> Do you remember those creepy puppets he would have? Like the train would come out and he'd be like, oh, look, the train's going to visit the puppets. I'm like, Mr. Rogers, hell yeah. I'm yeah. like, that would be my favorite part. If whenever yep. they didn't go to that little make believe land, that was, lost. I, that was what it was called, like, right? Make believe. I don't know what the fuck it was called. I think now, it was called but... make believe land. And like, whenever they didn't go there, I was big mad. Like, yo, mm-hmm. what the fuck you doing, Mr. Rogers? You think this is all about you? Right. I don't give. Like, I don't give a fuck about how pencils is made. You like, think this is a game? I don't care about toothpaste. <laughs> Take me to the puppet land. <laughs> this is crazy because yeah, he would do shit like that. Like that was the was closest a- you got to high as a kid was going to that puppet land because it was just out of control. Wild the little, mm-hmm. and then I guess like he was doing the voices for some of them or whatever. Uh, I did not know that. Weird. Yeah, the land of make believe. You were right, Bill. The That's land right. of make believe. Man, some good times in the land of make believe. And all the little voices sounded like this. And their creepy faces. They had those old timey puppet faces with like the red noses, like crack like, puppets. Look like somebody left them in the back windshield of a Lincoln <laughs> at 800 degrees outside. Right. <laughs> There's some crazy shit. They had real people hair, like real hair. Ugh. Just melted faces. I don't understand how that was supposed to be cool. Like, but like that's low key the reason that I kind of stayed with it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is fucked up. But right, and I, sometimes I can't stop I, looking I at it. Genuinely wanted to know how they made pencils. I was like, you know, what? you got me. I don't fucking know how they make this shit. Seriously, they were the first. Mister Rogers was the first. How it's made. Hmm. History Channel straight up took that from Mr. Rogers. Like, yeah, they were the first PB- house made. PBS was bomb. Learned so much shit from PBS. My favorite, well, my favorite episode of Mr. Rogers was when he went to the gospel. Uh, he went to like the black gospel oh, choir thing. He was yeah. chilling. He was. I was like, okay, get it in, Mr. Rogers. Right, Mr. Rogers been going to the barbecues. My favorite PBS TV show might be. It's it's like between Sesame Street, like come on, right, Mm -hmm. Sesame Street, or I think I know I'm going with it. It's Wishbone. Wishbone. I was gonna say Wishbone was great. Wishbone. So good. Shit. What's the story, Wishbone? Wishbone? What? It was slapping, but uh had that little dog dressed up as historical figures. I was like, go ahead, King Henry the Eighth wish. <laughs> <laughs> you chop off those heads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Like Don Quixote wishbone. Right. Like somebody got, I wonder what somebody somebody's got all those dog costumes at the crib. I hope so. And they be putting those their little cool. dog in them things. <laughs> yeah, who's y'all's favorite? Uh, or what's y'all's Arthur. favorite PBS TV show? Othelia says his is Arthur. Arthur was cool. Who had the best sound? Who had the best soundtrack though on PBS? Oh, hold on, hold on. My bad, my bad. <gasps> no, it he, isn't. He, he killed himself. He killed himself. <laughs> um, when he comes back, I gotta do what I'm supposed to do. I messed Poor up. Choice anyway. of words. Damn. I think I, <laughs> I think I fucked up. I made him think that he Oh, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider was a good one. Damn, Damn. I forgot about Ghost Rider. PBS was lit. <laughs> yes, Minister Terry. Yes. I think I fucked him up cult. on accident. He was in He's he still knows, mentioned in the Instagram. Well, I'm supposed to like let him in after I do the whole bit, but then yeah. I think he thought I did it on accident and he closed himself out as I closed him out, and then he was now he's just out of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I that's think how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I hate creating bits because I do the bits and then like I get it good for the first two or three. And then after that, I forget the bit. And then fucking like everybody else was has now finally caught up to the bit. <laughs> finally. And then I'm the fucking asshole who can't remember to do the shit that I already Sometimes came up with. My ADD kicks in and I know the bit's coming. 
and I'm just like, just yeah. I think that's <laughs> what happens chilling. to me. I think that's what happens to me. I got so excited to see producer <laughs> T. I was like, oh, right. let me just. Hey, what's she happening there? Out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oops. My you know bad. What? It could have been one of his clones, so it was probably his fault. Yeah, he's probably it's trying to get Terry. Is a Terry clone trying to steal all of our information? Uh, I never heard of this one. Hold on. Le- oh, Liberty Kids was a dope. Was dope, but Wishbone was mine. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember you gotta Liberty give it up Kids. for Wishbone. I don't either. <coughs> top. It was the one you had the buffalo, and the buffalo would tell you stories or some shit. Mm-hmm. It, something involved a buffalo at one point. My top three got to be. Uh, in no particular order, Wishbone, mm-hmm. Reading Rainbow, <clears throat> excuse me, Reading Rainbow. Yep, that was always good. And oh, it's between it's between Magic School Bus and Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. Oh, but I loved both of those. I honestly I can't choose just three because there were so many good shows that were like attention grabbing, but not in this like kind of dinky, stupid way like they have now, where it's just like fart yeah, jokes no. every two minutes. I'm like that's fine, but it stops get it stops being funny after about ten seconds. Do they even have shows over on four. anymore? Not really. I mean, kind of, yeah. You know what I used to watch, though, because I was a weird kid and I was a big, like, I was into British shit. I used to watch Are You Being Served? It's this old sitcom from the 60s. And it was awesome. It was just fucking funny. Are and you I would being watch that served? as, like, a seven-year-old kid. Yeah. I'm looking it up right now. Because I don't know. I don't remember that. They worked in a department store. And it was usually on, like, Saturday nights. Oh, it's British. British, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. I'm trying to bring it up so everybody can see it as well. That's interesting. I wonder what this one was about. I'm not gonna play it because YouTube hates me right now. (laughs) Yeah, don't give them one more reason to flag our shit, Jesus. They they hate me right now. Let's see here. Are you being served? Are you being served? Okay. <laughs> Liberty Kids had some wild dialogue for real. Woman, can I board the ship? Guy on the boat. That's for Black Dick to decide. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the show. <laughs> and that was a kid show? It sounds like a porno. It's like yeah. bad porn dialogue. That's, oh, excuse me, YouTube corn. That's bad corn dialogue. Yeah, we we uh, fap it and we have we crank down and it's corn dialogue, not or horn. Horn is also good because it's a euphemism as well. <laughs> That's a honk honk horn dialogue. Yes, <laughs> there it is. Oh my god, I loved it. <laughs> These guys look wild. They are. Mrs. Slocum is the one with the colorful hair. She was crazy. They're all mostly dead now. Um, yeah. I think they're all dead. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, wait a minute. I've seen him before. Mm-hmm. John Inman, he was so good as Mr. Humphreys. But yeah, it's silly and it's fun and it's very I British. I don't remember the rest of them, but definitely, man, definitely got to check that out. Check it out if you like British humor and you don't mind that it's like older. The the pilot episode is in black and white, but the rest of it's in color. I don't mind older movies. I mean, older TV shows. I really yeah. like older TV shows. That's why I'm trying. Right now, I'm trying to decide. Want to do top sitcom themes again? Mm-hmm. But I got to do a different decade. I really want to do either the seventies. Or the 90s, but animated if I do the 90s. Yeah, 90s animated would be cool to do. You could split it. You could do 90s animated and then it's 90s regular TV. Yeah. Yeah, I could split it. That would probably make sense, but... Yeah. Hold on. What's this thing? Oh. Oh! Oh!
is that? Who is that? Who could it be? Ooh. It's producer T. <laughs> Y'all make some noise for producer T. <laughs> <laughs> In front of a live studio audience. Yeah, man. This is uh, you know, <laughs> Othelia said it earlier, you know, this is Eddie Murphy version of Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. It's because it's all black people. <laughs> hi, hi, little kids. <laughs> Say that as, <clears throat> I'm, as I'm picking as you're people. picking your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Most niggas to make a move. Othelia says another well, 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 we... Scroll Tide. Scroll Tide. I got to get those shirts, man. Well, what this? are we discussing right now? Liberty Kids. And uh, their cap. Is, was Black Dick the captain? Yeah, I'm going to have to check that out. I'm going to have to now check I'm that out later. To... I'm very confused and, yeah, like, Anxious uh, yeah. to like learn what Mr. Black Dick is. Oh, I think you'll be unpleasantly surprised. <laughs> I was going to say pleasantly, but I don't think you. No, yeah, I'll be unpleasantly surprised. surprised. <laughs> Even if I like it, I think I'll be unpleasantly surprised. <laughs> be like, I liked it, but I don't want to tell anyone about it. <clears throat> yeah, no, if I'm telling my therapist. I'm not telling y'all. <laughs> We would never hold that against you. No, that but y'all might not be Liberty able. Kids. No, 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 no. I meant Mr. Black Dick. Well, Mr. <laughs> Black, what if he's a white man? Speaking of Mr. Black Dick, we don't get to talk about this at uh, the Drunk Banthas podcast. We don't get to talk about this at the Drunk Banthas podcast every Monday, 8 p.m. Pacific time. But... This is the Bantha Bun Show, and we do this every Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific time. So that means we can talk ratchet. Mm -hmm. And like I said, speaking of Mr. Black Dick, Puff Daddy, he went through it. He's going through it these last seven days. <laughs> he deserves days. it. <laughs> I love all the memes, so I can't <laughs> stop sending them. I, <laughs> is there a line where we shouldn't be like laughing at this anymore? Because this is pretty like. It's bad. Serious, right? There are victims. It's bad. Like, memes are everywhere, and it's just like, should we really be making a joke of this? Like, well, no, that's why we do it here. These issues, like with the Dan Snyder thing, you know, I'm guilty of that myself of just making jokes. But it's like, right? Yeah, there are. I I don't know. I, I well, think I'm glad that you said that. I'm glad that you brought that like gravity to it because yeah. that's kind of what I was going to touch on a little bit. Uh, no Diddy, but like, <laughs> see, <laughs> no, see, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, that's what we do here. We talks, we get serious. We gonna give, we gonna give both sides the the opportunity, right? Like we gonna get these jokes off, but we gonna oh, also man. acknowledge how, if any of this is true. Then we talking about some like black Epstein shit. Like yeah, that's it's what about to explode about. in the well, I mean he's Richard black Epstein, black Harvey, he's he's black steam, like Harvey Weinstein. Right, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Diddy right. Steen. This is Diddy Steen. Right, yeah. The good old diddler. He's diddling again, and he'll he'll keep diddling like, unless this they is put him in jail. Almost on the level of what was that British dude's name? Uh, Prince Andrew? No, 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 no. The dude. That oh, we was... talked about it last week. Um, damn, it was, Jimmy Savile. Uh, Jimmy Savile. Savile. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. like Jimmy Savile type, where he, he was this doing is... it to everybody, and for such a long time. This is this is for exactly ever. like that. Well, you know what? <clears throat> Excuse me. Just to be fair. This is nowhere near as bad as that. Even, and listen to me, y'all. Y'all who don't know who we talking about, that's just how fucked up that nigga is. Jimmy Savile was that yeah. fucked up. That his that's shit true. is way worse than what we talking about with Diddy. Yeah. 
This motherfucker built a hospital so he could diddle. Yeah, he children. built a whole hospital and charity. he built a children's hospital to diddle children. Like no, and their parents who brought the children because nobody was safe from this man. I forgot he was getting the parents too. It's so fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and but, it took um, so long to catch him too, which is odd. Well, after he died, it was way. Yeah, he never actually got caught. Yeah. He never even. No, that's true. He only suffered allegations to towards the end yeah. of his life. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't know what this means. Come on, roll, Diddy. Okay, yeah, you're done. I'm giving you. Hold on, you're cut off. I, I'm giving you the button. <laughs> You had to get the blood. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did y'all hear that? No, do it again. Somebody at the door. Oh. It'll be. Oh, yeah. snap. What it's up, nine? nine from nine. What's good? Nine yeah, with good, four everybody. black people. <laughs> now it's four black Diddy. people. I mean, he jumped on when he's heard, he he heard us talking about Diddy. He was like, oh, <laughs> "Let me jump on real quick. Let me jump on real quick." Is that what we're talking about right now, the diddler? Yes, that's mm-hmm. what we're talking about. Yeah, right? we're 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 we just jumped in on it right now. Yeah. Oh my god! I heard that there was like some new uh, footage from inside his house that when it was raided. Oh, I need to see that. Yeah, Didn't they say he did? He helped put the hit out on Biggie. Yeah, no, he did. He, He's just well, a pussy, so he doesn't like claim it like other people. A lot of people do. don't know that Biggie definitely was about to leave Bad Boy before he mm-hmm. died, and he, that's why he was. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Junior Mafia was not going to be signed with Def, uh, with a uh, with a uh, Bad Boy. He was mm-hmm. going to be signing a different deal with another company. For him to be under with his own record company, because he was writing everybody's shit at Bad Boy, so he was like, "What the fuck am I doing all this shit for free right now?" So, so he's like, "I'm a, I'm a dip," and allegedly, because he was gonna take his masters with him, so allegedly that's the reason Puff had him kill because he was, he was like, gonna take all that money. Yeah, he was gonna take if you take the masters, masters, I ain't getting no publishing off of it, so. Which is mm. where all the money is at, mm. and he probably hadn't even recouped everything from Biggie at the time, just because you're always putting money out, yeah. and he's probably looking at it like you know, like credit, like I'm putting shit on credit off of your name alone. And Goodness. Mace left because of weird shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a mm-hmm. lot of people who tried to leave, and people just end up dead around Diddy. It's crazy. You know, did he dead? Did he done? Mm. Did he done ducked it up again? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. But you know, nobody's even saying that he didn't do it. I don't know. I haven't heard. No, say that's that. the funny thing. Like nobody's rushing to Diddy's defense. They're all like, mm, yeah. "Did he been all weird for some kind of story?" Right. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo. So let's just talk about this one thing in seriousness. This so I was listening to uh, a podcast. We, I'm not gonna name which podcast because they don't pay for nothing here. But I was w- listening to this podcast, and they were talking about this subject, and they played the alleged audio of him and Meek Mills, and I was like. Yo, because I hadn't heard it before that. Yeah, that was passionate. I had not heard it before that. That was too passionate. It wasn't passionate to me. It sounded like rape to me. I mean, vape. It sounded like vape. It sounded way too. Yeah, it sounded like like either they were they were working something like that was like they were playing that Look, when they started playing it, it i cut that shit i pulled that shit out of my ears for after a second like i was like okay so this is just gonna go that long like it yeah, sounded long. like a nigga in pain crying out for like i'm pretty sure i heard a stop at one point it gets worse as you listen to it yeah when the stop kicks in it stops it takes on a whole different tone and it gets worse yeah what the I, 
Yeah, so I can't. First of all, for all y'all who are out here playing that shit, you are fucking crazy. You're fucking crazy. Like if you already heard it, and then you're sharing that shit to to somebody else, you are fucking insane. Like we gotta at some point we gotta have some goddamn sensibilities, like some goddamn morals, some goddamn level of decorum in this bitch, because that shit is just disgusting. And I'm not saying that because it's two men. No, you know, it's just I'm saying it because, it, yeah. yeah, I'm saying this because y'all just going to play a rape. <laughs> I mean, right, a, vape, yeah. a vape. And even if it turns out that, you know, it isn't, it, the rest of the shit that Diddy has allegedly been up to, which I hate using the word allegedly when you when all the chips are stacked against the motherfucker, because it just seems it almost seems to temper it down at like a level or two mm-hmm. where it's like, you know, oh, allegedly gets you prevented from being sued. That's yeah. true. OK, so allegedly <laughs> did allegedly we would not like to get sued by Diddy. Right. <laughs> I might actually enjoy that. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, Bill might smoke crack. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. But yeah, okay, no, so I, I gotta get off the meat. How long though, is cause... this thing? How long is this like audio thing? Oh, we're not playing it. Mm-mm. I'm not playing it. I was just gonna th- I was thinking about oh it. how long is was, it? Yeah, I, I feel I, like I was thinking well, about watching or listening to maybe, it, but I don't know. Maybe, wanna... maybe like, Maybe you look, I'll tell you like this. It felt like it was like it. <laughs> no, I'm saying it felt like it was like two minutes. Oh, yeah. But it's I would not, say it's like it is so probably why, why is it recorded though? So allegedly uh the bodyguard recorded it outside the uh oh. outside of the room that it happened in, mm. but it sounded too close. Yeah, so, that, me, allegedly <coughs> did. He's got like a bunch of fucking cameras all over his places. Yeah. Mm. Well, let me just say mm. this too. If this wasn't Diddy, you know, because there's nothing, there's nothing letting us know this is Diddy and Mace. I mean, Diddy no. and, and Meek. Let's just say yeah, that. Too. It's not like they they said their names before they started. Right. So let's just say it's not them. Right. That was disgusting. Somebody was getting vaped, man. And so mm-hmm. y'all are out here sharing that. Y'all got to calm down, man. Black people, I'm just letting you know, this is where you come down. From now on, this is where you come when you want regular, you know, hood shit that's not weird and creepy. This is where you should come. Because I've been watching all the hood shit all week, all the last two weeks. And y'all are weird right now. Y'all are being real weird right now. Really we never creepy. used to act like this out in public. And y'all are acting real funny because you want the clicks. Cat Williams fucked up 2024. I'm saying, oh right my now. god, because now everybody want to do something to be popping. Like everybody, like right, yeah, they want to outdo Cat. Mm. <clears throat> and yeah, of course you're gonna outdo Cat by playing somebody. Did we ever cheeks. like talk? About, did we ever break down the Cat Williams thing? Or no? Um, I feel yeah, like the, slightly, like you know like, what I mean, like back and forth. We did. We've just been referencing it the whole time. Yeah, exactly. We just it's <laughs> just get like a little bit more information every time we talk piece, about it. Yeah, it's a piece of pop culture where you're just like, <laughs> you know what everybody's talking about, even if you right. haven't seen it. You know what everybody's <laughs> talking about. right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, um, well, because it's unavoidable at this point, especially if you're on TikTok a lot. It, you just you're gonna run into it. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Let's like this Puff Daddy shit. Like, I'm sure grandmamas know about what's going on with Puff Daddy oh, right yeah. now. Never listen to no Puff Daddy in their life. No, but you know, oh my God, speaking, fucking speaking of Diddy. The other night, my neighbors have this, and they, they'll never listen to this, but I hope that they do one day and they know just how fucking irritating they are. Over the wall outside of my neighborhood is like an independent little house. Well, it's not little. It's huge, huge backyard, huge house. And they play on their fucking pool speakers the loudest country music mixes I've ever fucking... I don't want to hear country music anymore. But the other night, it was Diddy night. It was like five hours. Five hours of Diddy. They played Bad Boys They just played his whole catalog? His whole whole catalog. is Is this after he had the raid? After 
L, the raid. Oh this is after my. All the news broke. You I'm can't just curious. Hear it, tell me that you don't know. And so, yeah, there. I mean, it was shaking my goddamn walls because my bedroom is on like the side of the where their house is. So just like shaking the art on my walls, it was shaking my bed frame. Just Diddy. Wow, that is the wildest shit ever. Like. Like, I'm just trying to. Approach. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of place you're in. Did they all think Kelly when he was going? Right. I was, right. Yeah. No. Wait minute, but is like, way too close to Easter for all that. Yet. First of all, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's uncalled <laughs> for Easter weekend. First of all, neither nobody. These people involved are not as good an artist as R. Kelly. Like, like we all accidentally. Get caught up listening to R. Kelly if it's played. We're like, oh man, that that was a good song. Like, damn, that was a good song. Yeah, but, I'm gonna remember it's R. Kelly, and I'm like, right, oh, okay. exactly. Then we'll be remembering it is R. Kelly, and we like, no, nah, but Diddy, who the fuck is going and playing the dit? Like, I'm gonna go play Diddy right now. Fuck, fuck America. Like, what, what? party do y'all think that they vote for? I'm just going, Terry, you go for Oh, they're definitely Republicans. All the country <laughs> music they blast all day, like, I did old my dog with Diddy, and then I did with my wife. <laughs> that's, that's definitely like the type of person who names black people, and they're like, well, yeah, I like Candace Owen. You know, yeah, Candace I, 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 I'm a Rosa. I'm a Rosa. They, they, they're good people. Um, <laughs> like, old, I was like, yeah, like black people that they like tells me a lot about them. Yeah, so, well, Marjorie, yeah. three names over there. She on your wall. Phil May said, "Your neighbors <laughs> are cold blooded." I mean, in loud like other neighbors I talked to, like a couple, like they were like, "Did you hear that?" Yeah, you, the all Diddy concert event taking place. <laughs> Oh man, what's Othelia his best said, song? Yeah. Othelia said his we should have known Diddy was weird when he said we should have known Diddy was weird when he was sending niggas to get sugar cookies and shit. <laughs> Breast milk. He was definitely Breast weird, milk. man. You made my day. <laughs> yeah, you can't trust them. You might want to look in the movie. Uh, right, did you carefully. seriously look up? Oh, that. Yeah, yeah, oh, that, that I, was just, I just want to see like oh, if his whole discography because I, I know I know who is the best person or the person who's probably behind all this with the Diddy case. And when I say his name, you're gonna be like, Yeah, they they're the ones who he's either the one who is like who told every who, who can be the one to tell everything or the one that like is telling everything. And it's Fonsworth Bentley. Yeah, but where is he? Exactly what happened to Fonsworth. He's Fonsworth. been destroyed by I he's been Diddy destroyed by Diddy. I think he's I think he's the mole. I think wherever Fonsworth is, probably in FBI custody. You know, they well, shit, he's thin enough. The witness he's thin enough and he wears program. loud outfits. I bet how do you miss him? Protection program. Right <laughs> is this true, true Kirsten? Is this true? They was just what? playing. They was just playing. Come with me from Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they played all his any soundtrack piece. They oh, played yeah. Bad Boys Two twice, twice in a row. Yeah. Bad Boys Two twice in a row. Man. You want to get to the bottom of the Diddy situation? This old. is the man we need to look for. Yes. Okay. Y'all remember, remember him? Oh, oh yeah, I remember him. Yeah, but just, where is he now? That's the question. Where is he? See, y'all asking y'all asking the Instagram. wrong questions out there, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all asking where is Diddy? Where so is Fonsworth? Something. That's mm -hmm. what you need to be asking yourself. So. When's the last time you posted? It's just one week ago. Yeah, but in that one week, Diddy could already uh, ducked him the fuck off. But, that's, that's but like, yeah, it's an old picture, though, too. Could be behind all the leaks and everything. It, it's Fonsworth. That's who my money's on. Well, it's this his producer face. that I can't remember his name, but I've definitely never heard of him. But he apparently was a producer on the Love album, which I never heard either. Um, but I don't see he's Kitty the album. one coming out with all this stuff matched up with the stuff that was in Cassie's uh lawsuit, which was yeah. which was settled in in less than one day, by the way. Um Cassie's lawsuit was. <laughs> Yeah, he settled with her in less than one day. Yeah, 
to make sure none of the information that was in the sealed document got out. What did he blew up Kid Cuddy's car? The original ass was 10. Oh, yeah, there was apparently an attempt to blow up. But she turned down 10. Or she turned down 300. Whatever she took, whatever the original offer for Cassie was, she turned it down and then decided to go to court with it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, damn. Her. Nick Cannon is coming to Diddy's defense. So it's over with, dog. What? All right. Nick of Cannon. All the fuck of people. No, he didn't. He didn't come. He said Nick Cannon defends Diddy as a friend while discussing nope. challenges of Cassie's law. I want to know what he actually said. Crazy, this, actually. Because I don't I don't believe he actually defended him. He prob what he probably said was, I don't know. And we should we should let the Nah, Nick Cannon's stupid. He he would more <laughs> than be willing enough. He to be he like, doesn't really say yeah. anything stupid. He's very like in the middle basically like that's why he's got all them tv shows because he don't really say nothing he says well, stuff but he don't then. really say nothing well he almost lost wild and out for a bit there because he couldn't keep his fucking mouth shut yeah but i think that was bullshit too because he really he would have still made money off of it he just wouldn't have been able to be on the show no more like they would have just yeah. got rid of the show yeah but they would have made he still would it's still his show they can't like make another one no nope, like. there it is Things I know. I find difficulty when I'm asked about people that I know about. It was either The Breakfast Club or Angel Yee or something. And they asked me about Puff. I answered it as honestly as I knew how to answer it, he said. I kind of said, I'm praying for Cassie. This is someone who was hurt, who was victimized. I know these people. They're not just public figures to me. So I have um, I have to do um, do this dance about when it comes up because just as much as I know Diddy, I know Cassie. That's a weird. Yeah, yeah. I told you. Strange, I told you he don't answer. Strange, he don't. Thing. He never. He answers questions without answering any questions because he really said absolutely nothing. He said absolutely. nothing that you didn't no. even. He said nothing that you didn't know already. Right. Like we we were friends. <laughs> okay. No, he's he's like really good friends with both of them. Like he kind of right. grew up around Cassie like because he was only 14 years old on does on a does it hold up on uh all that you know what I mean like so got a record deal from Will Smith at 15 years old so it's you know I I I see what he's saying you know what I mean because I know somebody who got framed for um having child her and Hover on his on his server or whatever, like on his Wi Fi mm. or whatever. But somebody mm. used his Wi Fi and they were able to, because they were able, when they grabbed all his electronics from his house, they raided his house, got all his electronics. They didn't find nothing on his stuff. And he was like adamant that he didn't do it. But mm. they put his, they put his face on TV. They ruined his whole life. And he was innocent, but it took them two years to prove that he was innocent. You know what I'm saying? And then I got people asking me, like, yo, did you you think he did it? You think he did it? And I'm like, he don't he never did nothing, he never seemed like he did nothing like that to me. Mm -hmm. No, the nigga like 10 years. <laughs> I was like, I don't mm -hmm. know. But, but also, I was like, I don't know. Shit, I wasn't there. So how do what do I know? Like, let the shit play out you know what i'm saying so i kind of understand where he's coming from where he's saying like that's my friend they both were my friends but to be fair on the other end if you both if you close with both of them then i mean you know that that nigga was whooping her ass at the very least yeah so <laughs> but you know he probably would retort with i can't make the bitch leave him you know what i'm saying <laughs> like he can't Bye. you know what i'm saying like so at the same because you know like this is not his life to be, you know, no. at the end of the day, this ain't his life. This they life. No, yeah. So, like, what would you want me to do if it was the truth? Like, what you want me to do about it? Like, I'm not their parents. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, right. it's a crazy situation because I'd at least stop talking to Daddy. Well, we don't know he yeah, did. Yeah, we yeah. don't know that he did. We don't That's know that true, he did. But, but 
Yes, exactly. Like you could at least say that, but like but if you have to constantly talk about someone, then right, that would be right. A, yeah, fucking weird. It's weird the life that they've all chosen, right? Like it's the kind of problems that we sometimes all sit around and go, man, I don't have them kind of problems. Fuck it, I'll take the che- I'll take the check that they get to have them kind of problems. Mm-hmm. But when you realize that they got to deal with the Epstein's and the <laughs> and the Diddy Steens of the world, man, it's like, do I really want that kind of money? Or do I just want to be able to like go on vacation three times a year? Like, I'm sorry, did you say like- <laughs> Yeah, I said Diddy, 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 Diddy Steen. Diddy Diddy Steen. Okay. But I feel like you can have a bunch of money and not be a predator. No, like, yes. Having absolutely. money doesn't make you into a crazy predator asshole. No, I don't think so either. I just think it puts you around people who are powerful and try to take advantage of other people. Yeah. So you be in closer proximity. So I'm just saying, so Nick Cannon, he's a good dude, right? Let's just say he's a good dude. And then so then he's in situations now where he has to talk about crazy shit like this in spite of his him making his decisions the right way or doing whatever he's doing the right way. He still has to answer questions about what this motherfucker doing. So I'm just saying like, right. But he's but that's what he signed up for, right? You famous, you make Didn't a bunch he have of money. A PTA meeting to get to like, leave this nigga alone. He's yeah, got exactly. fifty two like PTA meetings probably. this week. <laughs> and LA traffic is crazy. I was just telling you right now, as many Did kids he as Nick Cannon got, he got to pick up like six six kids at least right Can you now. Imagine what his Christmas day looks like. I, I would uh, fuck off, like <laughs> birth control. <laughs> No, nah, yeah. Right, I mean, he got here. it. He's got the money. He got the money for it. Mm-hmm. No sound. You don't need sound. Detained with federal agents surrounding them. Based on what you can see here, does this appear to meet the legal standard for excessive use of force? No, not at all. In terms of how they were stopped and how who's even arguing arrested, that? You have to think that when officers are going in to execute a search warrant, and I've written numerous search warrants as a former prosecutor, and they've been being gone out to execute a search warrant as part of the officers. Oh yeah, that's the lady behind R. Kelly. In the force that they use, they immediately try to any individuals that are inside of the home, and that's to just make sure they one identify who they are, but number two, and primarily the reason. <laughs> the safety of- my I just wanted to see the footage here. <laughs> I'm just pulling yeah, up. Yeah, they're going to put everybody in the house in cuffs so that they don't go and grab a bunch of weapons and fuck up the family. Yeah, I thought that was a. Uh, or destroy evidence or do anything like that. It's so. a bit right. of overkill. I mean, well, you know why they did, they did do the overkill, though? It's because uh, I agree. Diddy's known to have like crazy crazy guns and some That's what like I'm saying. Altern- alt- 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 artillery 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 mm-hmm. sorry after four shots it's hard to say words more than three syllable words it's hard to say them four shots <laughs> You okay. got the ghost shots. I didn't even see it. <laughs> oh, I took them. All right, you got an IV going right now? Right, right. Took, it's like a <laughs> I took them before I got on, and oh, okay. and this, you know, always got this one right here. You got to chase your shit with a mixer, with a spritzer. Wow. After starting my new meds, I, I tried to have a glass of wine last night. I almost put myself to death. I was knocked out, but then I woke up and could not go back to sleep. No, thank you. Look, also, <laughs> I want to promote. I want to promote uh, getting you some coffee and tequila, black coffee and tequila. I don't know why. It's amazing. Just wanted to share that. Like you mix them. Yeah, that's what. That's what you're <laughs> That's what you're hearing. Everybody I've told, they're like, yo, that sounds gross. And then they taste it and they're like, I can't taste the tequila. (laughs) I did it because I was like, I got to do the show, but I don't want to get to sleep. Kahlua, Irish cream, all those come before tequila. Hey, agave, baby. (laughs) Those all have too much sugar and will go to your hips. This is skinny bitch. Uh, 
alcohol. Kahlua. You're way skinniest <laughs> nigga I've ever seen. <laughs> oh no, I just Kahlua. look skinny on TV. I'm not skinny. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is I hadn't seen this. You got damn. You got the Al Jazeera footage. What is this? <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't get arrested. Nine will find. Why this nigga got yeah. guardrails on the at the, at the at the house? Why you got, got guardrails? The crib. <laughs> zone around. What is that? <laughs> oh, it's a drone. Yeah, they're just playing around now because why is the drone just like right next to them? <laughs> right. Just going through the hallways. <laughs> Who's that? One of his kids. Oh, that yeah. sucks. I'm sorry. Those kids. <laughs> Y'all think if it was a white family, they would have arrested the kids like that, or they would have? Yeah. No, no, they'd have given yep. those kids cookies and milk. They'd have had no. them watching the iPad if in the was, car. If they was going in there looking for child pornography, they going in there just like that every time. I hope so. Mm. Feds don't give a fuck about who. Feds go in fuck people hard. Who do that to children. Feds go in hard every That's time. True. Now, the thing that was odd about this is that they went in in the afternoon. And the feds usually come in at four or five o'clock in the morning. So it was that was odd. But the reason that they did that is because Puffy is up slapping cheeks at four o'clock in the morning. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to surprise him. This nigga's just up already. I would think he'd still be surprised if he was in the middle of slapping cheeks and the feds just <laughs> busted through his door. <laughs> well, you got, but he it. got cameras, so you know what I'm saying. Like everybody's oh, up, yeah. up. So you you got opportunities to then destroy shit because you'd be like, oh shit, yeah, Mister Mister Puffy Combs, it's a truck coming with say SWAT on it, and you know. I'm just saying, he would have better opportunity to get rid of shit. Truck has entered the compound. Four o'clock in the morning for Puffy is like one o'clock in the afternoon. So you That's know, true. I don't. Like, he was out of. Well, he he was. Where was? Where is he in the Bahamas or some shit? No, nah, yeah, he, he went on his little private jet. <clears throat> he was Those on his private jet and they went from L.A. and to. Uh, it went from L.A. to Miami, and. It was headed towards the Bahamas and they got him off of the plane there. Okay. And then his plane, though, then was allowed to leave and it went to the Bahamas. So the question is what was on the plane and what went to the Bahamas? Is he in custody then? Uh, No, he's not in custody. He is cooperating with the police i'm so glad you asked that he says he's cooperating through his lawyer's statement which in the hood <laughs> i don't know what it means when you got billions of dollars but in the hood that means you telling you telling so do y'all think he's telling do you think he gonna do the time or do you think he gonna find somebody to blame most definitely, he's going to find somebody uh, to blame for a five hundred bill. Kind of depends on. Yeah, he's going to try to find somebody to blame. Like, yeah. But I, I want to know what this search has yielded. That is what I want to right. know. Well, what city's trying to buy that footage huh. so bad, salivating like, for it because they like you always hear about the rumors like he has cameras everywhere. So did they find these cameras? Did they find all the tapes? Did they find the hard drives? Did they find the pictures? What did they find? Want I feel know. bad for that's, the team. That's, that's the whole mystery thing. It's like I want to know what they found. What did they find? Can you imagine I, being on that team though? You got to go through all Diddy's footage. Who was that? Uh, yeah, because uh, I, I was talking to my little brother. Who's uh, he gets to see that shit all later and not as much because he's a he's a bailiff in the court. So when they're presenting it, he gets to see it then. And we were talking about man, he was like, I couldn't imagine being the actual prosecutor on some of these cases because they have to see all the footage. Because I guess he's like, I'm just seeing the stuff that they want to show the jury and all this. But like, can right. you imagine all the stuff that I don't see that they gotta see? Man, yeah, I'm. That's why. Yeah. I, I'm not down with that kind of a job, you mm -hmm. know. I, cause I could, you know, as a police officer, like I could walk in on a on a scene and see a body, you know what I'm saying? Or, yeah. Like talk fine. to people who have gone through some crazy shit. Like I can handle that. But you talking about being the prosecutor who or the, or detective, the detective who got yeah, to go so. through and watch crazy shit and see crazy. Yeah, 
No, yeah. The age of video yeah. has messed it up for being a police officer. Yeah. I'll just tell you right now. Not just because they not. can go to jail for whooping niggas' ass. I'm talking about because of the shit they got to see. Fuck that. I'm not trying I'm to not see I'm not trying that. to have nightmares about Diddy, like, of all the fucking people. God no, damn. man. Shit. Listen to that tape. You definitely gonna have nightmares no, about Diddy. No, no, no. Nobody Christ. should listen to it anymore. It should not be a yeah, circulation. Yeah, that's a disclaimer. That's what should have been the title they of this video. Drake do not watch the, do not listen to the Diddy tape. Right. Nobody listen to the Diddy tape. Nobody stop sharing Drake's dick pic. It should have disappeared from Twitter by now, but every yes. now and then it comes back like a fucking phantom. People are still sharing that? Yes. It just pops up every now and then like jump yeah, scare. No. Definitely, you you your doing that. I have somehow managed to avoid it all the time. I got looped into some <laughs> nigga shit for a bit, some nigga drama, and I think that's why. And mm. now I'm like, I, it serves me right for straight. You had a nigga moment on Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, yeah, see, I don't think people see. This is why we need. Well, I don't with Twitter. Twitter's been a cesspool for a long no, time. No, but it's just yeah. that this is why. So this is why we need the Boondocks to come back. Because people, you know what I'm saying? Like, black people need a reminder. Sometimes. We're getting good times. What are you talking about, Bill? Oh We're getting God. good oh, times. I heard that that was going to be trash. Let me tell you something. You know. <laughs> See here. It is. I've never seen. Good okay, times. so you remember when black people united because of the, the, the boat fight and everything? Now I'm yes. seeing black people unite and hate. Oh, for the good times. Because it's not necessary. It's just a money grab. Well, I'm going to tell you why they're going to hate it. It's because they're going to be playing it. Like, it's a play, it's to placate towards hood niggas today. Yeah. And the hood niggas that they got today, the hood niggas they got today don't give a fuck about nothing that's going on in politics or that's going on socially, economically. So, which is the whole premise behind good times. Like that's the whole show is about hard times, about having to. Yeah, but you know, it was never ghetto. It was just no. I'm just saying. Time. I'm just. It was in the ghetto. I'm just saying. Yeah. People oh no. Today, yeah. 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 Or yeah. Totally yeah. different type of ghetto. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Ophelia just said something I was actually going to say too because I, I know this. Well, they never. Before. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's yeah. never good. The Boondocks is not coming back. <laughs> That sucks. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, yeah, there's apparently a very hard person to work with. Well, I'll tell you this. That's because they're lo- they are currently, they're currently locked in a nigga moment. That is the that is the issue. This is what I'm saying. We need Boondocks to come back. Not not that it will, but that's the reason we need it. Because we need because we need to be reminded. We need to be reminded, you know what I mean? Like, we need to be reminded culturally, hey, man, this is this is how the society has divided us for years, dog. Like, suck it up. Y'all don't notice white folks don't be doing that shit. Jewish people don't be doing that shit. They hate each other. They suck. <laughs> the motherfuckers will walk through hot coals before they lose this money, though. Like. That is true. But What's a it? bunch of people are about to lose some money over Diddy, so it evens out. Yeah, man, well, how does that work? Let's bring up bringing up information like HBO did ask Carl <laughs> said, Yeah, can you uh, play the audio for this goofy ass shit right here? My boyfriend, daddy, let him go. Oh man, never mind. Turn this shit off. Steph Curry. Oh, why? Yeah, because it says Steph Curry. Look, and that made me sad and disappointed in that. <laughs> I mean, you gotta think about it. Like when you look up who's the writer and who does what. Like these producers are obviously just finance producers. Yeah, not creative yeah. producers. Like, for, <laughs> like what the fuck, Steph Curry? No, yeah. no. He got asked to give some money, and he gave some money. Norman Lear's dead, right? Isn't he? Yeah. So his name just has to be on right because he illegally stole good times in the first place. So he stole that yeah, shit. So the name still is. And Seth McFarlane just throws his name on fucking cartoons all the fucking time because he don't know shit about black people. Yep. So he but can continue to make jokes about black people. A black woman, and it's just like, what were you thinking? Why did you write this? Why were you writing this? Seth MacFarlane is. Why did all these voice actors look at this script 
and say, you know what? This sounds good. Like, I get the writer strike was bad, but was it <laughs> that bad to where you just said, yo, I'm going to read this. Ophelius, Ophelius, let us know why you never, he says, I never really like good times, but uh, to be strategic. honest. That's I want to know why you didn't. I'm not saying that you should have, but like I said, I loved good times, but like I said, <laughs> Like I said earlier, man, it's, Florida it's a it's a depressing Florida. ass show. It's not meant to be it this really is, yeah. goofy ass coon ass shit right here. <laughs> it's just not. Damn, it's Phil. not. It's just not supposed to be that. Look at this thing. What also, is let me go ahead and say this out loud real quick with no parsing, no words, you know, recklessly speculating, if you will. But don't be surprised if one day you find out that Seth MacFarlane got. A goddamn clan hood in his closet somewhere, like that episode of uh, Watchmen, where he got a oh my God. false bottom in his closet. Yep. I'm just saying, man. It's just certain shit that Randa Shepard. Oh, she likes skin. This is the writer, and then Carl <laughs> Dennis, too. <laughs> also wrote for. I mean, he wrote, or no, he didn't write for the Boondocks. He. No. He produced it though, he so let's see but they said he was helping with this show, but he left early. He his words said he said that he left early on due to creative differences. So I really want to make it. Would be the nigga that they made fun of because he left the Boondocks and went to BET? Was that him? No, nigga. Because if that's him, that's the coon ass nigga that that oh, they was he talking shit I haven't watched this yet, but it looked. Did he go to Harvard. I think like, that's uh, Chicago. Movie. This was like a Chicago black show, also. And I heard it wasn't that. Othelia good. said it was always just niggas struggling. Shit got depressing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, good times. Time. That's what I'm saying, man. The song even time. tell you. Hundred percent of the time. Black Dynamite. Well, so he yeah. wrote the Black Dynamite. Yeah, he wrote Black Dynamite. Black Dynamite was good. Dynamite. 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 Yeah, it looks like, uh, I'm going to say this out loud, Morgan, since you texted it to me and didn't say it in the chat. It looks <laughs> like a mix of the PJs and Bebe's kid. Yeah. The art. Yeah. The art. The art does. For sure. <clears throat> it's just the voices and the craziness, like, I don't I mean, know nobody. In the, I don't even know no niggas in the hood that that sound. That like nigga's that. ashy. He they literally animated an ashy nigga. That's awesome, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't. I can't deny look, that's actually kind of cool. He, but he looks jaundice. Yeah. Like I was he, thinking those were like he's about to turn yellow. yellow. Is that part right there that kind of make me like, come on, man, that's <laughs> that's, that's right real close to that goddamn. All his head, all they had to do is make his lips red, and then we're like, mm -hmm. we're talking some, we having to fucking yeah. have a conversation. <laughs> I don't know about Seth McFarlane, man. I bet he really didn't do anything for this show. And yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Everybody's all he mad. His name on it. I was like, I'm oh, no. sure he's just the money man on this. Like, is, I just threw his name on there just to get money and be like, Green yeah. Lantern, I put my name on it. You probably had to get the alias let me know, man. Because yeah, he said no. Nah, the nigga I was talking about went to BET. His name is Reggie Hudden. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they, they use his name on the show. They say Reggie. <laughs> they say yeah. Carl now. He was the dude who went to Harvard. <laughs> but yeah, that's not Carl. I yeah, it's not him. Him. Yeah. Had him and his wife and had a conversation. So how long do you think before they'll cancel it though? Well, Velma got two seasons, so I give this one at least. Velma's a hate watch for me. What I is it on? Stop watching it. Netflix. Oh, man. <laughs> I, yeah, with Netflix. It's going to get three seasons. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I might give it an extra season. It's Netflix. It's going to get yeah. three seasons. Well, you Netflix. never know with Netflix, I guess. Right, yeah. Netflix <laughs> will cancel your shit after fucking half yeah, if a season. You enjoy it, if you enjoy it. I don't think no one's really enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. That's a good and point. And that is coming on April oh, 12th. Like, it'll so get oh, it's Netflix. We could yeah. probably watch a couple episodes on April 12th. Oh god. Check, check back in on it. I don't want to. Before no, we uh other people will hate watch this. I'll just should that ooh, maybe that should be the next thing we hate watch. It could be our next idol. Mm -hmm. Yes. It could be amazing for ratings. 
Man. <laughs> yeah, you know what? We definitely we definitely going to make some controversy if y'all have me on here talking about some if we on here talking about that shit, I'm going to be making some noise. Mm-hmm. I'm not even going to talk loud. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna do that Stephen A. Smith thing where you talk oh. like this at first. The Vince Staples show got canceled, or I feel like he didn't. Dude, it should get canceled. That's not a good show. Yeah, Staples show was pretty good. Shout out to Vince Staples. Look, man, I don't want you to run up on me. Like I literally saw him. One I think point, I was talking. It was like I couldn't name you one fucking Vince Staples song. Oh, no, I like Vince Staples I music. Day, I heard Magic, I and I was like, no, I've never heard this song before. I like his music. I like his music now, and I just was saying, like, you don't think that show was good? No, yeah. I don't think it was. Oh, you didn't. Okay. No, I didn't think it was good, and I'm saying that, like, you know, not that somebody wouldn't find it good. I just didn't think it was good. You know, needed some work. It's like a student film. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's this first foray, and it's only it's only five episodes, twenty minutes piece. It just felt like uh, I would advise you know, nice him to go to acting school. Nice little experiment. <laughs> I would advise him to go to acting school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because uh, that would have helped a lot. But it was a little painful. But that's some good. But I applaud know, him for trying, and people seem to love it. So. Equality, true equality. Is being able to put something out that sucks and continue to succeed. <laughs> I liked it. You know what I mean? Like, but but that's what I'm saying. Like, if 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 it was 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and a show was split, or people was like, if you know, man, I don't know if I like it, I don't it wouldn't it wouldn't make it, you know what I'm saying? Because it's black, <laughs> but but you it's know, black and it's weird. Exactly. People, people rebel against that. Exactly. So now you go fast forward. I'm just saying we're a little closer to equality every oh. day when somebody can like. How was your day? Have a mixed bag as far as a response and then still <laughs> succeed. Last week. You ain't got no chicken for you. That's true. That's cool. That was pretty good. <clears throat> You liked it? Yeah, I did like it. That's um, it? That's all you got for it? That's, that's all, all you got? Yeah, I, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to write a script. The, I'm actually supposed to be dropping a video for it soon. I just can't find, like, any footage. Like, not even, mm. like, downloadable footage. No, fuck. What up, Lu- what up Lord Slug? Lord Slug 01. What's poppin'? Uh, film age says Vince Staples show was a great show. The the bank, the bank episode, episode was a classic. classic. I did no. like that one. Cool. Word, word. We'll check that shit out. Uh, also, check out some of the Nigerian movies on Netflix because they be a good laugh. Oh, oh my boy. gosh! Is going on there? Say that again. Is Sharon Stone on there? On the uh, for a Nigerian movie, no, no, I'm not talking about just one Nigeria. I don't know, maybe, maybe, but I'm talking about there's a lot of Nigerian movies. I want to watch that. that. That's the one Nigerian movie I really want to see because uh, it was in that episode of Atlanta, Atlanta, yeah, where they (laughs) go in London, uh, where they're in London and they're eating at that cafe, and on the TV, they're watching uh, the movie called Sharon Stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Lord Slug is, is, is giving us an alibi. <laughs> gone so long. Just came back for a Diddy party. <laughs> oh, that just <laughs> sent me the Diddy party. <laughs> <laughs> just came back. Oh, ridiculous. man. Yeah. I don't want to, but I love the memes. Like, the fucking sleep paralysis Diddy. <laughs> what? Fantastic. You've never seen those? Look, I don't I look I at, you <laughs> I don't be on the social media much uh because I have to t- maintain a sound mind and a and in a peaceful manner, you know, peaceful demeanor. Because I punch people in the throat. Like, don't at me on Twitter or X or whatever. Don't don't because then I'll look at your little shit and 
you got your whole you're a comedian and you got your dates. Oh, you're gonna be at this club. I will pull up on you at the club because I will hit you in the throat. <laughs> so that's why I don't be getting on my Twitter. That's why I don't get on all this other. Don't DM media. Bill. He'll punch you in yeah. the throat. Life lessons. Yeah, I, that's why I don't. That's exactly. That's if you there don't learn is. nothing here today, that's what you need to take away. With. <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> You would think he would get like a dancing coach after all these years. So. <laughs> right? Like, why was it in every video he was hitting that move? I don't know what like, is going, going on. Here. <laughs> I don't know what is going on here. He won't let this nigga go to sleep. No, he's his sleep paralysis demon. I'm not going to sleep around, Diddy. Wait, does it have sound? There you go. Well, we're about to get, we're about to get climbed. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so fucked up. It's like okay now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's like if you're you're a robber and you go and try and rob Diddy's house and then he, he locks the door on you. Yeah, I saw that. One that. <laughs> I think he sent me that one. I was dying. Boy, this is so wrong <laughs> in many ways. Bill finna, Ophelia said Bill finna pull up at the comedian shows like T Grizzly rapper just out of every show looking for smoke. Like, I'm the biggest fan. Like, I'm his biggest fan. Excuse me. Look, it's going down now. I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all already know what time it is. If you know what time it is, y'all already know. <laughs> uh, I hit like rocks, steel. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying. I was about to do a, a Muhammad Ali impersonation, and my voice just can't do it. My voice is fucking gone. What? What are you talking about, Lord Slug? What does this mean? <laughs> what, what does this mean? When I said he was the one who sent me the uh, the Diddy clip. Oh, 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 oh. That's very nice of him. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, we need clips. Please send clips. That's all the clips. And also share share this video. Share it right now. We going live right now. We going to turn up on a new topic. But make sure you like, subscribe. We appreciate everybody watching from the Drunk Banthas channel and the Nerds at Night channel and uh Twitter drunk underscore banthas. Uh yeah, but uh, for you know being let, let's just say wild, I wasn't gonna raise the fact that you got kosher dildos and butt plugs. I would ask you, are you wearing? <laughs> are we talking about that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We're now talking about <laughs> the new hot <laughs> documentary <laughs> controversy all over it: the truth versus Alex Jones. <laughs> It should be the truth versus the alt right, really. Right. <laughs> like, because uh, it, it was some shit. I feel like the majority of the people who said the craziest shit were his underlings. You know what I mean? Like, he definitely started shit, but it's just like goes to show you how he don't even really have to be uh, the ringleader, right? Like, that's how cults are, right? Like the. The actual leader don't even really have to per, you know, perpetuate what's going on. He it's just five to six people who like can just really ham up what you're saying and just really yeah. don't go forward and can make other people believe it. And the majority of people he that was out there fighting for what he was talking about, they didn't get paid by him. Like that's just they just they got nothing to do or they independently wealthy and they just go fuck with grown ass human beings who have gone through the worst possible thing you can imagine in life and just messing they messing with their whole day. Um like Phil Mage, I know Phil Mage said what the fuck because of that goddamn nose dildo. That shit was fucking wild. I ain't gonna lie. Um yeah I'm gonna finish playing that clip but uh Rabbi Shmooley. Rabbi Shmooley but uh, here's the little bit of a trailer. I still I haven't watched this. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't know this. Uh, so, Bill, you're going to have to give us the break. Right um, I mean, Alex Jones already gets me. Right. We got the documents to prove that y'all everything y'all are saying is uh, absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. There is a reported school shooting in Connecticut. 
And I said, they are going to come after our guns, look for mass shootings. And then magically it happens. This is staged. That's when our world turned upside down again. Alex Jones is the most polarizing figure in this nation. It's hard being a white person. Infowars was thought of as a fringe organization. But it's hype. More people were watching than CNN. Unlike a troll media, I try to tell the truth. The government See, will y'all not- didn't realize that uh, Alex Jones was woke before woke. See, because that, that <laughs> when, when he said he was tired of being an awake person, that was during the 9-11 controversy. So he was, mm. he was, uh, you know, one of yeah, the how years. long has he been doing this whole thing? Since 96, I think they said, right? Like he, he, he started off on like radio or something. He was like doing, I think they said 98 or yeah, I think they said 98. He was yeah. like doing some kind of like he was ahead of his time, kind of like Joe Rogan, right? Just doing shit online and putting it out there, like, even though nobody's really on the internet like that, right? Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> he built a foundation of conspiracy theories, like, local in Texas, and then he just would spread out, you know, as big, as the internet got bigger, he got bigger as well, just like Joe Rogan. And I used to watch Alex Jones, like, when, during the uh, 9-11 conspiracy theory stuff, right? Like, and I think that's when most people really got introduced to him. You know what I mean? Uh, or at least most people my age got introduced to him around that time because he then blew up again during the Obama election, 2008 mm-hmm. election. Yeah, he was a big uh, birth certificate fucker. Exactly. He went hard on that and he went hard on a few other things. That's when the actual child pedophile ring stuff started. Pizzagate. Pizzagate stuff. Like, it wasn't Pizzagate yet. They didn't start doing that shit yet. But that's when all this shit started. So then, you know, we fast forward to now we got a president who likes to bloviate about all these types of things. And uh, it, <laughs> I feel like to a certain degree, Alex Jones though, knew he was shit was bullshit, but he just kind of talked himself into believing that his shit was real. It's like you absolute power corrupts absolutely. I think Alex Jones saw himself as a joke as much as we see him as a joke at one point in time. But at certain at a certain point, people started believing the things that he was saying, or mm-hmm. at least in some kind of way, he saw him moving his ability to move the needle in pop culture. Mm-hmm. And he mm-hmm. started believing his own bullshit. Yeah, I mean, uh, Kirsten, how do you feel? Because you you watch this doc, <laughs> and you actually yeah. were the one who reminded me I needed to watch it because I was like, probably gonna miss it this week. <laughs> right? Yeah. No, I was like, you gotta you gotta see this shit. Um, he's always irked me, and like been somebody I don't pay that much attention to, except you know. Occasionally, when a, a joke or a meme comes up, I'm like, "Haha, he's an idiot!" You know, like the friggin' frogs are gay. We all laughed at that, but I, I, well, find we all know they're turning the frogs gay. I mean, right? Because it was such a stupid fucking statement to come out of somebody's mouth. But I, I found after I watched, because I watched it twice so that I could be prepped for today. I feel like after watching it, there's not an ounce of me that wants to find any part of him funny. Because you're mm-hmm. right, he moves that needle so effectively because there are so many cretins out there that are s- just asinine enough to believe the shit that he spews out of his mouth. And that power that he's given through that platform is destroying, it destroyed those people's lives for <laughs> years. They're still not going to get over it. Absolutely. I can't imagine. I did not realize until watching this now i'm i've been up on all this kind of stuff i knew people who were literally telling people i knew really smart people who were like you know sandy hook is is fake and i was like yo i said you know i just i'm just saying i sent them some articles and you know what i mean like just you know and then they were like oh i didn't even see this and then so then that's when i that's when i realized he had gotten bigger than i could imagine 
but I don't watch his shit, right? So you're not gonna fall under that umbrella. Well, you're not gonna really see that. Say what? What's that? FEMA camps. Oh yeah, that they're. That was that was. Yeah, like, I remember. I, remember yes. who I knew, and what did they go on about? About Alex Jones and how I, I first heard about, about him. Him. the FEMA camps that Obama is going to get us already and <laughs> march us off to camps held by FEMA. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With all these coffins that they were buying in case of a national disaster, they was ready for us. Yeah. And then we had this thing called COVID. Should have put him in one. <laughs> but, you know, that was like a good 10 year. Yeah, no, I'm just saying Obama tried to prepare people for a lot of things that they, you yeah. know, like we had a whole bunch of respirators and shit that yeah, Trump got rid of. Mm-hmm. And they're like, look, yeah. ready for FEMA camps and everything. And I was like, no, we just like to be prepared for a catastrophe. And then, you know, right. it's all, all, all it, shit. Oh, look at exactly. that, a catastrophe. It, it all. Right. A catastrophe yeah. that's inevitable. Like, yes, and, and that's why they had those things set up because they know the stupidity of humans. We wouldn't have needed to put all those little coffins ready. We wouldn't have needed Uh, to put all these bodies in freezer trucks. Exactly. We had a ton of coffins. But yeah, I just didn't realize one thing I didn't realize until this is just how much these people, these parents were being, and this whole town is being affected by people coming into the town and harassing them, harassing them on Facebook, harassing them in person, like. Yeah. Cause we all know, like, you get a tweet from somebody, and you know it's like troll, hateful message. You just block them. right? I, I don't. Yeah, because nobody's that. walking up to you. What I did to him, I was like, I probably trolled this guy. I don't know what I did, but and I nobody's sure. walking. I'm angry for him to message me at four o'clock in the morning. Exactly, and nobody's walking up to you in public, going, "You're fucking fat, or you're fucking ugly, or yeah. you're fucking you're, you're you're fucking stupid, or I can't be- whatever." Had children. Or Whatever right. it is, yeah. nobody's ever yeah. nobody's saying that to you in person, except these people were getting this thing, these things said yeah. to them in person. Was. Right. Yeah. That was, what was wild. At them all kinds of shit. That was what was wild to me. I didn't realize they went through that. Like I knew they was going through the bullshit, like people yeah. saying shit. Mm-hmm. Like just that alone, people out there calling you a liar and you mm-hmm. lost your child. Like well, that yeah, alone is crazy. Trying yeah. to go home, had a day at work. You're going into your house, and all these people are standing at your door telling you, just show us the proof. Where's your kid? You're an actor. Right. Exhume your child. Exhume your child and just show us the bullet hole in their skull. Fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, that also was crazy. I'm like, yo, why are we trying to parse the words of a person who says that they held their their child with a bullet in their head? Like, why are we? Okay, so he didn't hold he didn't see the bullet in his head, okay? But that's not what he's saying. Like, he held he, a dead, cold hand. He held his son, who also still was, you know, died. He, he was dead from a bullet wound. Well, it was another one crazy. Why weren't there any evacuation choppers? Motherfucker, everybody is dead. There's nobody to evacuate for trauma. Trauma <laughs> coppers and trauma... Buses, or you know, they call them buses, it's fucking ambulance. Yes. But, but like those things are for people who are alive, and unfortunately, no one that was shot lived. So there was no reason for all that. It was really crazy. It was like hard to watch at times, not because I was mad at Alex Jones. It was hard to watch at times because, like, I could tell. Like the white lady, she said it. She was like, I felt I started to feel bad for him because he was up there choking and coughing. And I was like, he's he's literally going through something like health wise. That kind of shit will make you sick. It will actually like cause you to your esophagus to close up, cause you to fucking have heart problems and just die from the shit. You know what I mean? People sometimes die under that kind of stress, which shows me he don't believe the shit that he's saying. He knows that he has to say what he's saying so he can keep making the money that he's making. Even if he don't want to make the money he's making at this point, he has so many people that he employs or look up to him or give him money based off a certain criteria. 
Like, but then he could just go about attacking, you know, everyday conspiracy theories. He didn't have to literally encourage people to go out and harass these people and death threat them. I'm not saying that's crazy. I'm just saying that's that people. Crazy. So his constituency, if you will, that's what they're there for. Yeah. So you, we say you don't have to, but if he wants to keep making that money, he has to. And so there's that line where you have to just, you know, you have to make that decision, right? You have to say as what makes a good person separated, what separates a good person from a bad person is that ability to say, I'm sitting here with a, at a, at a crossroads where I can either make the decision to say, fuck everybody else. And I'm going to get this money or I'm going to say, you know, that ain't a, there ain't enough money in the world for me to, you know, to to what's his integrity to, worth? Lo- yeah, to to lose exactly, my integrity yeah. or compromise myself is what I was going to say. Compromise what I, myself. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that to me, that's what makes him a fucked up individual all the way one hundred percent. Oops. You, that during increased radiation levels, you need more iodine. He turned some story into a need for a supplement. You got parents method acting, the green screens and the lies. It's not real. What do you mean this didn't happen? I think that's creepy. Yeah, so like that's that also you the craziest that part that's about this. Right you can so, take that down. Uh, right here. <laughs> um, this is like kind of the funniest thing to me is where it is. He just creates oh, stuff brought up and then just makes up, you know, a reason why you need it. Uh, yeah. well, I mean, I mean, which a lot of people do, so, of course, but it's like the most insane thing. So are you saying yeah. DNA force you, plus, like it's going to protect your DNA against what? Are you well, that's what I was going to say. Are you saying that I should get the Bantha uh, force <laughs> plus and send it oh, back? I no, just no, no, send no. back the box of the Bantha Force. We're selling those. We're oh, already okay. moving units of those, man. <laughs> I'm <laughs> going to Terry's tub water from all my children. <laughs> 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 so tub water. Is like, I'll, I'll, send the, I'll do my picture in the tub, and then you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go yeah. send you some of that water from that specific trip. Yeah. Diddy will buy at least four bottles. So. <laughs> oh, a musical CD coming out. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> Oh man, Teddy Subwater sounds like something you sell on OnlyFans. <laughs> That's exactly where you'd have well, to sell it because I don't know if there's a direct market for tub water. Our, our Shopify <laughs> is about to be going crazy oh. this summer, guys. Oh, I would tell you right now, there is definitely a market for tub water. I say we put it up on our site, Terry's Tub Water. It don't even have to be real tub water. It's just the fact that it says that is funny as fuck. <laughs> <You're right>. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Now from oh, Nerds at man. Night, Terry's the, tub water. And the Ooh. bottle is a picture of Terry in the tub. <laughs> right. Yeah, Turn the lights it. down low. Pour yourself a glass. <laughs> Terry's tub water. And it's gonna be an accompanying vinyl soundtrack. It's all the music that you should listen to while in the tub. Are you gonna I'm have actually, tink- I'm actually tink- proud of the mix part? <laughs> are you gonna have are you gonna have tinctures or is it just gonna come in a bottle like shampoo? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just gonna come in like a bottle of Dasani still with the Dasani. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're recycling too. It's we're all recycling. yeah, it's hundred percent recycled. It's, it's very <laughs> renewable. Uh, amazing. You can use that bottle again. Um, and put your own tub water in. Yeah. This is uh, says, bathe in that water. Nothing. And you will hits turn like into a another Terry clone. <laughs> That's how it's so spread. smooth. Uh, so this delicious. is um Na- nanotechnology water. Uh, you shouldn't just uh yeah, you can just do the uh Santa Maria Holy Spirit with it. Um this is the dumbest thing also. Um, right, yeah, the altered you, video that happens, he altered. Oh, it, it, I can't even tell if it's altered, it's just that Anderson Cooper is white on white and nearly yeah. transparent. So, like, <laughs> this happens when you have All these the camera time. conditions. <laughs> like, that's just what happens on cameras, buddy. Yeah. And also, if your TV is like a little older, mm. you probably right, don't yeah. even like you probably you streaming it. Yeah, it's probably a little worse. Like, it probably looks even more like a fade in or whatever. Like, right. Yeah. But, that's before you start also, using those high def cameras, too. Just stop being stupid, people. 
Right. Like yeah. I already said this oh, earlier. Yeah. People are stupid. It means it didn't happen. It started less than 48 hours after the shooting, and then it grew exponentially. We need to analyze all these videos now. Emails, letters threatening us. It was a contagion spreading to billions of people, and it was only getting worse. And that's when I filed the lawsuit against Alex Jones. Uh, this is a show trial. The most egregious case of defamation in American history. 75 million people believe that Sandy Hook was saved. I believe they're being fed and manipulated. You believe everything you say is true, but it isn't. Let's talk about InfoWars business. <clears throat> Put out a... I'm some, if, he, if he had actually good lawyers, they would actually be able to... Uh probably get an appeal on this because this judge was like yo sit your fucking ass down right she had to ask like him to time. spit out the gum and he's like it's not gum it's gauze because i just had mouth surgery Bitch, but he, please but he didn't have no gum but i mean but he did not have gum in his mouth. i think he had chew in his mouth Maybe, you know, maybe. He's, he's Southern Texas dude, he's probably he probably had chew in his mouth. For those maybe. who don't know what chew is, it's it's basically tobacco that you chew on that comes out of a can, like a tin. Walking around, walking around like, <laughs> but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like if he's not, if it's not a high profile case, if it was a situation where he's a regular dude, and, oh, and yeah, the, and it'd, the, it'd be resolved and quicker. The, and the judge was talking to him like that. There, there would probably be a situation where he could where he could find a way to appeal this. At, le at least get another judge. You know what I'm saying? Like, get another trial to get another judge. Yeah. Same same it's results hard happen. Because, like, what is the... Yeah, like, who... What type of judge... Well, there is some pretty crazy judges out there, but, like, most sensible people are just going to think that he's just the biggest asshole in the world, no matter right. what. Exactly. <laughs> There's a certain way you gotta handle that without it resulting in a mistrial. Exactly. Right. Have you watched uh, the Waukesha guy who uh, hit all the people in that Christmas parade? Mm -hmm. That was an amazing trial to watch. I watched it from like, that I was in so Ireland when it first started. I just watched it from day one. Daryl Brooks. Daryl Brooks trial. Like, you yeah. watch this crazy yeah. person because first, because he just delves and goes straight into the sovereign citizen act. To try yeah. to get himself off, he's not even trying, and then yeah. he becomes his own lawyer during this trial. Like mm -hmm. halfway through, he fires his own legal team and becomes yeah. his own lawyer. No, he like, like he passed the, the insanity the plea and went straight to buck shit crazy. Right, like the way the judge had to handle this, you'd be like, I would have lost my fucking mind at this dude. Like, yeah, right. I cannot imagine yeah. spending yeah. hours in court. And I just felt like that yeah. bullshit. I I just felt like this judge didn't really do a great job of that, but she also is wearing a big ass dog chain around her neck. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but this show trial. The most if we could get a shot of the judge. In American history, seventy-five million people believe that Sandy Hook was saved. I believe they're being fed. Do you believe everything? Boom. Yeah. It's, what is that? Oh yeah, she she got that chunky statement <laughs> necklace. But she gets <laughs> that. Black gown they still wear. It looks fucking stupid. She was about to dude. take it off and chain them up right there, dude. It's so <laughs> massive. Just ass in the parking lot. If you guys have, if you're watching, I mean, if you're just listening, uh, she's wearing a big ass, huge silver like dog like chain. Jewelry. So go check it out on the uh, the documentary, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But it is a wild chain. And you know, you that kind of stuff tells you a lot about their personality. You know, they like so I could tell she was a little hot headish you know, herself, but she just was like, yo, I'm tired of this motherfucker. You're like, God damn, like <laughs> right. can somebody come get this motherfucker right. real quick? Like, god damn. Cause she was like, I'm gonna get it. She acted like she oh, was maybe she, about um, five seconds away from telling him, I'm gonna hit you in your throat at one point in this documentary. Right, yeah. Like got some hand lotion, some treats back there. Looks she's like about to come up and whoop his ass. She had a little candle it's too. True, but it is. Let's out. talk about Info that's when you got to make the move. We got a story that gets people's attention. Go to InfoWarsStore.com. InfoWars is actually an infomercial, right? These families have been hunted and just right. getting rich off it. It's just so obvious what they're doing. That's how he runs his empire, and that needs to be stopped. You must tell the truth while you testify. I believe I told the truth. This is a kangaroo court. This is a political action. <laughs> this is not your show. 
Ladies and gentlemen of the jury have reached a verdict. I hope to accomplish an era of truth. Please. I ain't gonna lie. There were parts of this that was funny because this motherfucker is like watching. How do I put it? He is like watching a train wreck, but if the trains physically could get drunk before they ran into each other, <laughs> like yeah. it is just like, what uh, is going sometimes on? Sometimes I wondered if he stuff. was drunk during the trial, or at least tipsy, because oh, sometimes he would just pull. Yeah, I think, uh, I think definitely coke. Ophelia said it right, right here. Fifty yep. percent grip, fifty percent cocaine. Or just yeah. like those supplements that bathwater is selling. Well, yeah, because you know that. what? I think I think Othelius is right. I probably it's probably 60 40. Because it's probably 60% yeah. <laughs> grift. Because the one thing that they did point out in, in, in this doc is that Alex Jones <clears throat> always had a talent for being able to just anytime you said something, like any topic, like at, since the inception of his show, InfoWars. He has never written a script down. Like they've never had a production meeting. Yeah. They were talking about how he just you just gave him the stories that they would print off the mm -hmm. internet and hand him the stories, and he'd look at it and he'd just be boom. Here's yeah, the crazy. like that's that's a crazy yeah. like recall. Like and like to get these you to know, get those thoughts off is nuts. It's nuts and. And, and just and, the way he does it too is just like yeah. so fast, so aggressive. So and he's aggressive. just running on like full cylinders for like the lowest three to four hours straight, like hitting that lowest common denominator of appeal to yeah. just consistently do that is kind of amazing. It's he like Savantes, he and he power. even he he call, he even goes as far to say that he thinks that he's he's like I, i'm autistic i'm i'm a little slow right. i'm autistic because right. he called this dude fucking slow one of the parents yeah. one of the parents he said that he thinks he was slow and he thinks his son was slow i'm like what the fuck is wrong with you and when they call him out yeah. for it all in the court it was as if he thought they weren't going to see it he just did it 45 minutes before he came in right like, yeah Fresh, he was in the fucking car when he did it practically, like and, on his way to the courthouse. Yes, oh, yes. Shit. And he's like, well, well, he's like making a TikTok or a reel or something, and in his car, or no, 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 she, no, she, no. She was, it was like was he leaning. literally, he was yeah, streaming from his car. No, no, no. He, no, no, he, like, he, he okay. did his broadcast wherever he, he films, and then he, like, hopped in the car to head to the courthouse. But I'm saying he mm -hmm. might as well have been fucking making a tick, you know, it wasn't TikTok back then, but making a fucking mm -hmm. reel in the car. Because it was like, how are you going to finish up? Because didn't they show a little clip of it? And he was like, well, I got to finish up early today because I got to get over to the courthouse because they're still suing me over what I said about those kids. Yes, yes. bitch, they are. Yes, Get your ass he, that's there. actually you saw the little picture of the judge with the fire mm -hmm. in front of her face. He did that on his show before he came in there, and they, like the 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 lawyers, kudos to the prosecution, right? Because they are going in there, or not the prosecution, but the uh, plaintiff. They're going in there and they're like watching early. They getting up early oh, to watch Alex here. Jones, watch yeah. Alex Jones Infowars, and then. Download the clips and then chopped it up. <laughs> that ain't what well, they went just, to uh, law school for. They didn't go to school to yeah, fucking be making re making drunk review videos and shit. But it makes <laughs> their point. It's kind of like what they're doing with Trump right now. He can't help himself. He couldn't even help himself that he couldn't keep his fucking yeah. mouth shut during the right. trial. Yeah, his uh, uh, he, he can't. Um, he's got a gag order or whatever, right. and this he just won't stop talking order. shit. About the, the judge's judge daughter and family, and like right. what the fuck? enforce uh, that gag order, or else nothing means anything anymore. Fuck him up. I already had him thrown under the I'm prison. I'm going to Trump now because this man is the he really is the Teflon Don. Yeah. I, couldn't believe I don't know how the fuck he's getting away with this. He can't keep on getting away with this. And somebody came through and covered it for him. Terry, Terry, Terry. <laughs> I'm going to live to be a thousand years old. I'm going to <laughs> live. hope not. Uh, how long did the jury even deliberate with Alex Jones? 
Was it like quick or like did they? Uh, well, take a it was bit? two different. There was two different trials. Yeah, mm-hmm. they kind of so, overlapped a little. The second one I think took three days because they yeah. had more uh, money to deliberate off of because it was more plaintiffs. Yeah. But the first one takes place in Texas. So in that one, he lost a uh, hundred and twenty million, and in the other one, he lost like a hundred. No, he lost two hundred million. So yeah. all together, I looked it up in total. Yeah, one point five billion is what he owed. But the Sandy Hook families just said this, like last year, I think that they were willing to negotiate it down to eighty-five million. But Lord Alex Jones said he still couldn't that pay article. that. So yeah. yeah, there it is. They offered. I don't know if he took it. Well, the thing is, he ain't never gonna pay them. Period. He ain't gonna no, give no. him a dime. Probably. He don't got the money. No, he's even if he has himself. money, I mean, he's probably. I mean, I think he has the money. I think he's broke as a joke. I don't think he has eight. Well, this is the thing. He doesn't have to pay them that money at the moment. Like he, he, he no, has it's over ten years. To, he has the money to put them on payment plans, so. That's yeah, it's saying. over 10 years. They're not they're not like, oh, the bell doth toll now. So that time. means he's that this dude ass. wouldn't be. I think he has it. I think he's just not going to pay it because there's nothing that you can really do to in these types of civil situations. There's not much that they can do to him for not paying it. Like they can take him back to court and, you know, go through more litigation. You're not able to like seize any assets from him or what? No, it's this is not a federal. This is not like an actual yeah, no. like court like criminal situation. court. This is yeah, a it's, criminal, it's, it's like a civil, civil lawsuit. But, yeah, yeah, and so that's what it's it comes down to in those civil lawsuit things. Because if they have, if the plant, if the uh, defendant has enough money to just extend shit, like you got to be able to stay on it and do you. Mm-hmm. You're usually you're the one asking for this money, so you probably ain't got the money to keep up with me. Right. You know, and I can just keep this going on and on for years and years and years, kick the can down the road. Your lawyer probably changed like four or five times before I even get tired of even paying for this shit. So that I don't think really, you know what? I I wish for his case specifically, they could have negotiated a public dick kicking. Just the strongest yeah, leg. Uh, amongst the Sandy Hook families, let let him or her or them step on up. Just don't hold him or anything, you know. Give him a fair chance to run around the little square a little bit, like fence it off, and then when she catch up to him, just kick him in the dick. Yeah, that's justice. I, I like that. I also like child. I like um, he has to stand in like the t- the center of the town, mm-hmm. and at Sandy Hook. And let people they had he put some duct tape around his mouth and let people talk to him like they the way like he, he talks to them the, yeah. and the way he's gotten other people to talk to them. Just oh, if I them, see him out and about in Austin, I'm gonna call him a pussy and I'm gonna follow him around and call him a pussy until I lose interest. So it seems yeah. that his son is like following in his footsteps as well. Apparently, oh, fuck. apparently, all you got to do, Kirsten, is just go to the same grocery store that Blake go to. But just be right. sure when you call a pussy, be like, "You're a pussy," and won't come on our show, you pussy. Right? Oh my gosh! I don't want him on the show. <laughs> I, uh-uh. I'll, I'll dip. I'm a fuck, fuck off. I don't want. I, he doesn't deserve any more platforms. The <laughs> fact that he's still out there, able to use his vocal cords, is a slight no. on everything. <clears throat> but I will do your show. Um, Alex Jones. You'll, you'll <laughs> um, this no, is a. Yeah. Uh, could never do this show, but I, I need as many subscribers as possible, so I will go on the Alex Jones show. Because guess what? Those people need a good place to go. They need a a real place where where truth is told. The truth. <laughs> All jokes aside, I don't think you could pull any one of the people that watches <laughs> InfoWars, Prison the Planet. People, the people we want to pull in would probably be just so they could hate watch us. Right. 20, yeah, and hate 20 on years. Yeah. 20 yeah. years. Yeah. At 20 yeah. years old. At 20 years old, I think I was pretty enough to convince some people to move over. Like <laughs> at least three. <laughs> Could have got at least three out of what is it? He got a million subscribers or some, some three, some three faithfuls. Three. Um, faithfuls. <laughs> this was yeah, this was the Rabbi Shumley thing, and they were debating about um, 
but Israel and Gaza. Should we blur this out? Do, ooh, <laughs> um, <laughs> this shit no, is I mean, wild. I guess it wasn't really a dick. No, it wasn't. Bring one now. And then you don't tell me. <laughs> you have a butt plug right now? Um, may I answer? Yeah, go ahead, Mr. Butt Plug. May Why I are answer? we saying butt plug you with kids all, on all TV? Well, because are this you guy has like a butt, butt plug. plug business that <laughs> is like a family owned butt plug business. So like he goes on his podcast and he butt just plugs go about back a long way. He has a daughter. Butt. He has a yeah, like his daughter runs the business and they just like talk about butt plugs together and it's super okay. fucking weird. And so I'm not mad at that. So kind of like his daughter. I, this guy's daughter? Yeah, yeah. She's I, I have no idea. Well, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or can I answer? No, go ahead. You, you've got fair time. No one will say I took over time. Go ahead. Okay, so, but don't interrupt me. You know, you spend your time fighting gay men and gay marriage and saying that they destroy the covenant of marriage. Last time I checked, this is not to be personal. You are divorced and remarried. I And yeah, like he's a rabbi, apparently. And yeah, the, the butt plugs are all kosher. A gay <laughs> rabbi, is he a gabbi? You sure? <laughs> Where, where's the where, where's the soundboard for this one? <laughs> yeah, you gotta give me the button on that one. <laughs> yeah, so that's its whole deal, and I don't know. Um, what is really weird? I was watching some of this, uh, or like a YouTube breakdown about it, and it sucks because. I I was like, oh, lesser of two evils, then I guess Alex Jones is kind of right. Like, I, it sucks, like, being, you know, it's like the worst person you know said something that you agree with. And what part? What did you What did you say that you agreed with? Well, just like that, you know, you cannot just bomb the shit out of Gaza and expect it to just turn out all right. That's, oh, yeah, no, you know yeah. what? What's yeah. crazy He's is that right now, people. he is, he is, it's crazy. He is right right now on some things that he's had opinions on, but a broke clock can be right twice a day. Exactly. A blind and, squirrel finds a nut. And, and also, you can I be think that right, it has, and it's the way that you say it too. Mm, absolutely, yeah. I think that he's. I would say that this this ex, this experience that he's gone through that we see in this documentary has probably softened him up a little bit. Not that he's gonna stop saying crazy shit, but I think he's gonna he's gonna stop accusing people of things and start for now. Well, at least yeah. you know, because he now you had the illegal experiment, right? Like he yeah. he now knows how far he can go across the line. Like he had the line, mm -hmm. he went across it, and yeah. now I think he's gonna be more of a bumping against that line instead of a habitual line stepper, because that's mm -hmm. what he was becoming. A habitual yeah. line stepper, and when he stepped over the line too many times, somebody had to slap his slap his ass. Just got to slap him one more one time. Public paddling, no diddy. Public paddling. Public paddling. We believe uh, in capital punishment over here. And you're also right about this, Athelius. His son does somehow look 35 and 17 at the same time. Yeah, it's that being <laughs> an asshole will age you. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. How old is his son? Um, let's see here. Twenty something. Twenty one. Twenty two. He could be forty. I don't fucking know. Alex Jones is fifty. Uh, da, 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 no. Damn! It didn't say on Wikipedia. Well, that's not. Uh, that's not. Well, in, in Wikipedia, it'll say when he was born. Like the year. Well, the reason I asked <clears throat> is because 1974. So he's a lot older oh, than I thought he was. Oh. Well, you can look at his sons right there. You can oh, look at his did. sons. Wait, no, that's Alex Jones' age. No, you can look at his sons at the bottom. Yeah, yeah go down. In there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, under personal even, it'll say, oh, blah, 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 was born in 1974. To two assholes. I don't know his mother, but I'm assuming she's a dick too to have been married to Alex Jones at some point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alex I Jones, your mama was an asshole, Alex Jones. 
let's see here. He's uh, Othila says Con- conser- conservatives try to act like they're telling some hard truth, and it's just be just be anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism every time. Well, yeah, or racism or sexism. Some goddesses are they, they're always be like, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm like, no, you're just ranting and being racist or sexist or something. Yeah, it's yeah, like no hard to, let me tell you about the EI. Like, yeah, that, <laughs> I understand that you feel like you can't win and you, you struggle in America and you you know you can't find a job, but that's because you're lazy and you don't pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. <laughs> like all these dog whistles for like you're you're black, <laughs> like you're brown, like we yeah, don't like they you. have a they have a tendency to experience the same things as every other human being on the planet does, but they they slant it in such a way where it's like, yeah, but I'm not like nigga poor. Well, if you're, you're poor, right. you're fucking poor. It doesn't matter if you're brown, white, purple, yellow. It doesn't matter. You're fucking right. poor. Yeah, it's like that that scene in uh Rosewood. And almost ain't nothing funny about Rosewood. Almost. Because there is one scene. <coughs> I don't no, it's not meant to be funny no. at all. There's one, there's, there's one thing that is funny. When they go to Don Cheadle's, the white folks go to Don Cheadle's house. And they threaten him. They go up in the house and they like letting him know like, yo. It's going down soon, so y'all ain't, you know, we'll fuck y'all up, blah, blah, blah. They leave, and they go over to the white man's house to let him know how it went. Like, this is how it went down. And one of the dudes, he was just flabbergasted from being in there. <clears throat> he was like, they was like, Bob, what you think? Bob was like, when I was a boy. That okay. nigger, he said, I can't wait to see that. He said, that nigger had a piano in his house. <clears throat> And he was like, like I just, that nigga had a piano in his house, so they just ignore him, and then they start talking about some other shit, and they go back to Bob. Bob, what you think? He go, I ain't got no piano in my house. Mm-hmm. How the hell a nigger get a piano in his house? Like, how the <laughs> fuck did he do that? Like, and then some of them would be like, well, they've always been a musical people, <laughs> right? Like, like, I can't like, afford to do that. So how can you afford to do that shit? That's right. bullshit. Especially but, being brown. Like, if I didn't not, get this job or someone I know didn't get this job, yeah, it has to be some um, other reason. He can't be as qualified as me. Right. It um, had to be that affirmative action. They, uh, they, yeah. I was like, okay, so they didn't... The best person should be hired, and that's what they did. They just... This know, is the thing. Uh, uh, yeah, like, the conservative... Like, Right wing, alt right, whatever they have, like this knack that Ophelius is bringing out that the DEI diversity, yeah. equity, and inclusion, um, and woke, uh, they're they're just so good. What at is a DEI? Taking, what is a DEI? Diversity, equity, diversity, and diversity. Inclusion. yeah. So, so they're, so they're, but that's like something that they've been trying to, uh, <laughs> like if a company lacks diversity within their uh, uh, workplace, then. That's kind of like what it relates to. But the, they've already gotten rid really of affirmative bad. action. So what in the fuck are y'all actually even talking about? I mean, it, it's, it's not, not you, not you, cor- not you. It's not all y'all, bullshit but... corporate uh, speak. Or I know, but right? I mean, yes, but and, it's also old because they already were so good at doing. Like they're yes. really good at just taking these words or these terms and then co-opting it to use as like a dog whistle for you know, like like just saying nigga. So like yeah, uh, uh, it was just it was uh, before this it was CRT, right? Right. Like yeah. Critical race theory, and then like if you ask them what is critical race theory, they'll be like, yeah. it's woke. <laughs> it's woke. <laughs> it's woke. Well, I asked them what it's woke. Like, yeah, like uh, yeah, they really just it almost, it almost misses you the day they're like monkey. You're like, well, at least that one was. <laughs> just like, I, I didn't have to go to Google yeah. what the fuck they were talking about. All right. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to mention that because it's like they've definitely gotten yeah, better at being racist in the last 10, 15 years. Definitely mm-hmm. got more creative. But like to, to your point, Nod, they're really good at this point creating a false narrative off of something mm-hmm. that, that like we didn't already yeah. move past all that shit and they still talking about it. Mm-hmm. And right, yeah. 
and they know that don't nobody know what DEI is, right? Like they know nobody knows what the fuck that is. So they just say DEI. It's kind of like a code word for them. Like, I know yeah. that you on board with me if you say that shit. I know that I can mm-hmm. see you at the picnic because picnic yeah. means pick a nigga day. And right. that's when they would pick a nigga to, to hang. And see, that's what the Aaron Rodgers of the world be going to. Say what? Their, yeah, their base isn't going to look it up either or like try to exactly. get themselves more informed. Yeah. So, so it's just like to able to be a... Know what it means to them already. You mean right, yeah. Like they can create a new... Hired over white vote. Right. Yeah. It's like when I heard uh sloppy toppy for the first time. That's a weird I didn't, transition. <laughs> I didn't need to go look up sloppy hey, toppy. What does that it's mean? Not, what we about like, <laughs> it's not a sandwich. You know what I'm saying? I know it's not a sandwich. I know it ain't a dish. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it ain't a it ain't a uh <laughs> it ain't the a sloppy toppy was a sandwich though. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the sloppy toppy was a sandwich. What kind of sandwich would it be? What kind of sandwich would it be? Really Build it. Uh, <laughs> I, would really say a, I would say a sloppy Joe at least, right? Like I feel like that's like a best. Um, I would say a cow chair. tongue the sandwich. Maybe the light flame sauce. It's it's a cow tongue with uh, a lot of mayonnaise. Uh. <laughs> oh, appreciate you. He, was, he says. Uh, <laughs> Bill got the greatest segues, man. I'm out here with it, bro. I might as well be a white boy on a <laughs> on a segue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I can't get over this headline right here, though. The far right is crawling with the eclipse conspiracy theories. I really go, want to go watch the eclipse. It's uh, going to be right. like, wait a minute. What's the Chicago? eclipse theory? What's the eclipse um, conspiracy theory? It, you know, it, it says know. here that I everything is design. going to change. Um, right. It's saying that everything's going to change and like it, there's going to be a bunch of rituals to bring in the new world order. Jesus Christ. I don't so know why don't, that would have to be a thing. What do they think? It's witches again? So wait. I don't so, know. So you're telling me that there might be getting raptured. I heard that one. Well, so you're telling me that why? Let me just figure this out. Let me just let me just roll this out because maybe I'm hearing it wrong. Maybe I'm maybe I'm you know confused. They're saying that the people who are so powerful that they could like take over the world that mm-hmm. they won't that they actually can't do that until midnight a certain day. Like they that's when they'll actually be powerful. Like if you're powerful enough to do something, just do during, it during the eclipse. Yeah, like it you're gonna wait till the lights go out. Like, what is you what is it's not special if about? you don't pick a half the lady. I guess so. Yeah, you know you're right. Like, what if I can't just pick my my wedding day and just be like Tuesday? And, and, and fucking what's the, the, the dumbest thing about it is that there was just an eclipse. I hope that happens. like in 2017, with you know this dumbass motherfucker looking straight at it without a I fucking glasses. I wish he had gone blind. Fucking Fuck. faces too I've goddamn spent, big. I've I've spent <laughs> I've spent many 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 years. Inside many yeah, like sun tanning tubs, I, I I sun tan all the time. Sleepy Joe, very very pale, looks sick. I think he's sick, but there's no way an eclipse or any sunlight can affect my eyes. Many 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 years in sun tans. I'm I'm good, Kirsten. I appreciate you and your concern, but. <laughs> Many, many years. Ooh, that was actually kind of cool. I, I am concerned. I'm concerned he's still alive. Like, please. All those fish he's sandwiches, cool. he has to have Oops. died by now. Like, Heart attacks be striking people every day, and yet this motherfucker is still alive. That is a so fact. Hard. Like, what was you that? See what happens, you see what happens when you uh, search Eclipse mm-hmm. on Google? Yeah. Eclipse you gives you an Eclipse. Okay, so this Google is going to be... Who the... needs the real thing when you got Google? <laughs> it this never crosses be... through Nevada. Fucking lame. I've never yeah. seen an eclipse. I saw one once in the nineties when I was little. It was pretty cool. The full I saw a partial one. one. Oh, you're yeah. getting full blast! Damn, nine. Wait a minute. That's the uh, that's outside, where the eclipse is going to be through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where you'll see yeah. it the best. So I am going to just travel. I want to travel down just a little bit, and yeah, I'll be able to see it from those, the close. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to be in Austin, San Antonio area. That can't see it in Chicago from there, right? So I have to, like, I'm gonna have to 
figure this thing out. <laughs> I would like to say that that is literally going over the worst parts of America, I think. Right? That's why all the conspiracy theories are happening. Like, look at all of that. Look at exactly where it's going across. It's the craziest fucking people. Right? Yeah, maybe yeah. you're right, Terry. Maybe that's why it's the conspiracy like, yeah. theories. Well, tell me this, because I the no. first video I saw talking about the conspiracy theory was a video of them saying that they're mobilizing the National Guard in preparation of the eclipse, which a lot of places like Niagara Falls are doing because yeah, they have to, to get an influx of fucking people yeah. to yeah. Niagara Falls, as you see on the map, to see this yep. shit. So this is what the National Guard does. On this right. Map. You know, they did yeah. this shit. Nothing. The you know, nerds have already booked out. Happen, a big concert would happen. You can just, you can declare a state of emergency when you know there's a big influx of people coming into your place unexpectedly. Yeah. That's me. It helps with but What got me was that this video <laughs> was from the um, Oregon yeah. governor at the time talking about this, showing that. Clearly, this was back in 2017 and not the 2024 one. And people are just commenting on it, being crazy, like, see, they're trying to get us. And I'm like, first of all, this is a video from 2017. This is the mm. Oregon governor. She's not even the governor any fucking more. There's just so many red flags mm. the that should tell you something's wrong. And you people are just thinking uh, the, the government's about to Three come over. Three quarters eclipse. Huh. Oh, Film Age says this type of eclipse hasn't happened since the 70s in the united states because eclipses happen all right with the fucking well, no, right but he's saying this but if it has, didn't happen right. here did it happen terry dude this is yeah. like <laughs> hold on that's how this people feel they're like i didn't see it in america this is this eclipse is like the one from heroes uh no because of the same type of one yeah, happened in 17 so yeah we're yeah. gonna get superpowers or so eclipses back to back and then we want i hope we get superpowers yeah. You could use some superpowers. Let us know in the chat what kind of superpower do you expect to get from this eclipse? Let me know in the chat. Which kind of superpower do you expect to get? You know, or is it flight? What's the lamest one you could get stuck with, though? Like being invisible super- almost. I think being invisible is the lamest superpower. Yeah, it's kind of useless. Because when I sure find you, I can still earth. kill you. Like, <laughs> and now I just strangled your naked. <laughs> <laughs> Blast. I'd be embarrassed. <laughs> Holy shit. Exactly. Like, come on, man. I don't want to be naked. Then everybody thinks you're a creeper anyway, because you're just walking around quiet. Right. Does my visibility invisible. like work on my clothes or anything? That's no, it never works. Can I like my, my no, internet like, does. fuck you. Unless you're dating Reed Richards. Right. There you go. Then you don't have to be naked. August of 2017, so on a sweltering right. day in Hopkinsville, <laughs> Kentucky, was the center point. But this one's in April, and meteorologist Christina San Juan is talking to Visit Indy. Well, we are counting down the months and days until Monday, April 8th, 2024, for the total solar eclipse. Millions of Does Americans. Does anybody have a male weatherman anymore? <laughs> As the moon passes in front yeah, of the sun, we do here. temporarily blocking its light and turning the day. I think he's high most of the time. Venues across the country are planning viewing parties in at least one major city in the path of totality. It makes <laughs> an entire weekend out of it. Morgan Snyder from Visit Indy broke it's down going the over celebrations they're organizing all across Indianapolis. There's really something for everyone. Morgan recommends building your itinerary based on who you're traveling with, whether that's family friendly or more like a party atmosphere. You could head up to Newfields. That is our art campus where they are hosting official viewing sites in the country by NASA. That's going to be the most exciting thing to happen in Dayton, Ohio since ever. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Ophelia said Bill think he butchered from the boys. So just trying to give everybody superpowers. That's going to be pretty good. Like 80% uh, darkness. Darkness is. I don't know, man. We're getting sick. How long is it gonna last? Uh, very you long. said what? How long is it gonna last? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, four minutes. Oh, four minutes of dark. Four, four minutes, minutes of darkness. Four minutes. I'm thinking that we get a clue type situation where like people be hanging out, and then when the sun come back, somebody's dead. Oh yeah, I mean the purge is legal for those four minutes. For those four so. minutes. Yeah. Oh, what are you gonna get done? Mm. You 
Lazy lady. That would be about the only thing you get done. Don't do that. I, I really wish I had crazy <laughs> religious neighbors that actually. I wish I knew somebody that believed that it was like the rapture because I would go to their <laughs> house and, and when it was happening, I'd have like a trumpet and just be like, doo -doo, doo -doo. Oh then I like leave my clothes outside and like some dry ice or some shit and just like leave my clothes. You, you, like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta throw your clothes out the window. <laughs> Oh, I love man. in this scenario you're you're not gonna make it. Because like, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Like, oh, I can't believe he made it. <laughs> oh, you made it. That's why you disappeared in a hail of smoke. I thought you got fucking taken out because they were like Terry in the oh, center. <laughs> Yo, y'all are cracking me up. The chat is cracking me up. Shout out to everybody who's watching right now at the Drunk Mantis channel at Nerds at Night and on Twitter at drunk underscore banthas. Y'all are cracking me up right now. Um, but yeah, no, non. were you about to pull something up or were you about to say something? I oh, I was uh, going to say uh, it's uh, Monday, April 8th. Mm. Um, and it looks like it will be going over uh, Texas around 130 to 145. It'll probably hit around my area around 3 p.m. So it's going to be nice. I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, well, uh, I'm going to go see it. I gotta get a lens for my camera, a solar lens, to make sure I don't fry my shit. Yeah, boy, oh, that's a good it. idea. There's gonna be a bunch of iPhones um, with issues come Tuesday. Well, not over here. Not with. Not in LA. Maybe. <laughs> Y'all be sunny as fuck, like. <laughs> I got a question for y'all, man. We got some movies coming out this week. Y'all, yeah. uh, y'all going to see uh, the Planet of the Apes? Oh, that comes I didn't out know that week? was coming out. What? Wait, wait a minute. It says May the tenth. No, my bad. Oh, it's in my coming soon right here. No, um, what is that? I, I went and watched. Um, I went last week. I went and watched uh, Immaculate with Sydney Sweeney. Oh, it you was like good, that? right? Yeah. It I've was, heard nothing but that basically so far. What kind of it movie? was Is it like a horror movie or what? yeah, it's a horror movie. It, yeah, but it's no. like also it was kind of hit or miss, I think. Um there's First actually people stupid. there was a <laughs> there's this moment. Wait, you watched it? Yeah, um, I did. Yeah, um, I did. I got, the, I got a screen the moment where the plot twist happened or something, that's mm -hmm. when uh like Four people like just got up and left. <laughs> and then as I was walking in with my friend, they're like, Oh, what movie? What movie are you gonna go see? What what movie are you gonna go see? I was, we said Immaculate. Um, and then he looks at her, the like uh, attendant, and was like, Oh yeah, uh people have been saying it's a two out of ten, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I was like who the fuck Thanks. Why that? would you tell me that right now? As I said, I just bought the ticket, you fuck. Right. Like, hey, at least they were being honest because when I saw um, Late Night with the Devil, I went to the Alamo and that motherfucker was like, oh, yeah, it's a good movie. I've seen it twice. And in my head, I'm really thinking it's because you work at a fucking movie theater, bro. When I worked at a movie theater, I saw all kinds of movies like 10 to 15 times in a fucking week. But like, did you like the movie? It's fine. Right, right with the devil, no. No, you, yeah. Uh, when I was watching last okay. week, yeah, I, I gave that a five. on, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, he loved it. It lost me at, at the third act, is yeah. when I like held it all together. That it just fucking completely, it was like crossing this over. It was all up in the paint, and then it went up for like a land and just shot a fucking brick. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Delia uh, said. Saints uh, and Sinners that's starring how... Liam Neeson is in theaters. What the fuck ever that is. Delia said that's how niggas talked about uh, or mm. talked up. Oh, Bob Bob Marley. Marley. I didn't. Yeah, now I'm like, said, I haven't uh, heard anybody say anything about it. Anything. Like, Ophelia I... said it was mid. He said it was just mid. Mm. What about? Uh, well, it's got to be better than the Amy Winehouse one. The magical Negro movie. I yeah, um, Alex. I want to step myself through it just so I can prove myself wrong about. Being Alex saw about it. Do you want Alex's little? Yeah, yeah what he said. Magical. He said it was not good. It was okay. really. He said it was really not good. Okay. 
I hear All it was right. offensive to everybody, including niggas. It didn't have uh it didn't know what kind of movie it wanted to be. Yeah. The, the plot moves around. It uh yeah, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Mm-hmm. Uh but film age came oh, in with the uh confirmation. Magical yeah, Negroes was, <laughs> Magical Negroes was horrible. I mean <laughs> I'm trying to be nice it about it in case bigger. somebody wants to go out there and check it out. You know what I mean? Like support support black people. But I felt like it didn't even do nothing for black people. It was like offensive to black people. It was offensive for white people. It was offensive to people who go see movies. Mm-hmm. It was just offensive. It was just oh. bad. Yeah. Um, I saw they should like... have uh oh, hold on, I want to say this last part. Alex said that you go into it thinking you're gonna see this Harry Potter like movie. Mm-hmm. And you get none of that. And none what of you it. Do, it's like a political thing. Yeah, he's like, what you do get from it, you don't. It doesn't make any sense by the end of the movie. <laughs> no. You know what? I heard somebody describe it as like minstrels that think they're doing a public service. So instead of something, oh like, yeah, yeah, that's a good. Would you say it's like the polar opposite of they clone Tyrone? Yeah. Yep. Well, mm. it's well, a different, no, it's that's not, a different, it's different movie. It's a, it's a different, different movie, movie, but yes, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Okay. Because well, I'm saying about like the name, the stereotypes, and playing on a trope. Of yeah. What right. Well, out. also, it's like it leads you to believe that it's a black movie. Mm-hmm. And so, like to your point, like they clone Tyrone leads you to believe that it's a black movie. And it's going to be talking about maybe stereotypes. And, and it's going to be dealing with black shit. This movie leads you to believe that, but it doesn't. None yeah, of that happens. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's yeah, all. Yeah. Yeah. Like somebody yeah. called it the minstrel show. They're like, they're I just want show. everybody. Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah. <laughs> I just want everybody to understand what you where you're coming from. You know, we got listeners who can't see your expressions. You right. know yeah, I see. They're like, gotta keep these white people happy. Did it? Right. Mm-hmm. I, I was already <laughs> was right. trying to say, why did why did this movie get so much hate? And I was like, mm-hmm. why? <laughs> Ophelia said, said yet, so I can't say nothing about Ophelia it. Ophelia <laughs> said it was a movie. He said it was a movie about niggas with cool magical powers, and it just revealed around the main. It revolved around the main character chasing a white girl. Yeah, I I don't even know it's how that. Like that's exactly worst what album was the movie. <laughs> oh, that's fucked. But yeah, that's totally true. That's interesting. They should have um, got logic to do it because this my dude who was in this man, I like him, and he was just now he should not have been in this movie. I don't think I cringed harder watching Magical Negroes than when that one girl was making the rounds for uh, her slam poetry, calling herself a quadroon. <laughs> I was what? like, what madam, do you not know that's offensive? Yeah. Yeah, she was like half quadroon. I'm like, quadroons are already half. <clears throat> Minus five points. <laughs> Minus five points at the door. <laughs> yeah, she's really? a little redheaded, light skinned black girl. She's like, stuck in two worlds, half quadroon, like, wrong. Maya Osborne. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. A quadroon. Let's see here. Makes you an octoroon, then. Right. And the quadroons are already half. Three fourths massa and one quarter coon. These <laughs> are the confessions of a quadroon. Confessions of a quadroon is absolutely um, my most well known piece of work and my most requested. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this is, is a comedian. This is a comedian. No. No, it's a slam poet. Yeah, it's worse. Oh well, if she was a comedian, I'd give her that. <laughs> you said it's worse. It's one thing to pay homage and acknowledge the little bit of blackness you possess. It's another to make a mockery of it. That my black experience has been negated by others, and I have been told that I cannot live a black I, that I'm not black, that I cannot live a black experience. You proclaim that the world is denying you your blackness. And in the same breath, you reduce your blackness to a derogatory term and use the plight of black people as shock value. For Wait a minute. Why is this nigga using the James Earl Jones voice? That's what he sounds like. 
You are right. never right. seen him, the Sun King? I love him. He's this like, nigga very... does not sound like this on Tuesday. <laughs> he sounds like he's when he go to like, three Xanax. Yeah, when this, nigga, <laughs> when this nigga go to Taco Tuesday, he do not sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hey, this nigga be in the club talking about some. I see that you are looking to buy a drink, uh, <laughs> but never you mind. I've already so bought you one 15 <laughs> seconds ago. You should hear it when he says it's the word boo boo. Boo boo? Boo boo. With that voice, it sounds extra smooth. <laughs> Somebody to. Oh, just get back from the gym. I saw a little shorty that you be talking to. <laughs> oh, what a waste! You of guys time. have never seen him seriously. Damn. I think I have seen his videos before. Oh, um, like like his... It was always like so stupid. Video, like, this dude is wild. We can't keep playing him because uh, <laughs> goddamn YouTube don't like this. This is pretty shit. hilarious. It's a one. <laughs> no cap. Right, YouTube uh, don't like that I'll shit. <laughs> I'll take a look at that later. <laughs> uh, Ophelia says, uh, mixed people, I love you, but don't go to the studio. <laughs> go to therapy instead. Please, I beg you. For real. Hey. Wow. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, you know what? I can't say nothing to do that because logic has fucked it up for everybody. Can't lie. Logic has fucked it up for everybody. Hey, at least he ain't. Uh, he called his dad a bitch ass nigga. Malcolm King out there. He's still. I can't believe Sean King's still still relevant. Somehow. Who? Sean King. Oh, Sean King, man. I look. don't know how. Like, look, come on. I now. don't know. I don't know nothing about none of them niggas' lives, man. Like <laughs> Sean King, his, his Sean King. So not the. This is the different person than the Sun King. Yes, no, yes. Sean King <laughs> is a journalist. He's a journalist who says oh. that he is a mixed guy. Uh, says that his mom Malcolm got knocked <laughs> up. Malcolm by somebody. X, you fucked up. You're fucked up. Yeah, everybody always called him. Tell us you're fucked up for that. I said, oh, wait, he has Sean no, he King. He is kind of pale. He's the Talcum X. He is. Damn. I, he is. He's, he. Like just he like my grandma beat. I'm like looking real. I mean, look, I was, I got, I got cousins as light as light as Yeah, no, I have family that's so pale, I'm like concerned. And I, I know light skinned niggas that light and bright, just like him, who are black. They're, they're Creole right. people, but they're black. As I don't black. think he's from that area though. So no. just like I don't. He's from like South Carolina. I'm yeah, sure. I was like, oh no, I'm cool. Or man. North Carolina. Up all that way for them people. I don't know. Some of them got that way, but well, no, I mean, I ain't got no I got family members that's not Creole that's just as light skinned as he is. I got some that's lighter than him. I See, know, right? Like, like, you know, know some people that kind of look like him, but at the same time, I'm just like, mm, it looks like he paid extra to get that fade. Well, uh, this is how I feel about club, this is how I feel about Sean King. If if uh, he's if he, let's just I say don't know who the nigga is. is. He's a journalist. As a political he's activist. activist. He's he a journalist and a political activist. Like a but real journalist. Like, young Turks. Like okay. Yeah, Young Turks. Yep. Yeah, he's he's a he's a he used to be with the New York Times, if I'm not mistaken. He used to be one gotcha. of the big New York New York uh publishers. York but anyway, News. something like that. But anyway, he uh he it, let's just say he is not black. His mama told him he was half black. Like, so let's just say he's not black, right? Mm-hmm. This nigga fight for niggas more than niggas do. So I'm not. Well, hey, then he's part of these going to the cookout. You, you know what I'm saying? We can yeah, keep but him. there's all, all the controversy that says that the people he's been fighting for haven't been getting any of the money that he's been promised. He ain't, no, he didn't do any That's of that. Dying. Sean King does not. Sean King is not a lawyer. He doesn't. He doesn't run any of these people's lives. You talking about that dark skin nigga that the lawyer that that did uh, uh, Tavon Martin's family? Yeah, uh, yeah. No, no. That is the nigga that you need to be worried about. If that nigga show up at my house, I know I did something wrong. I, I <laughs> like. I'm not. Not. Nah, he's the problem. You got ambulance chaser type lawyers that prey on these people. 
That's the problem. Mm-hmm. Sean King is just talk, is just telling the news. He's just giving out the news. But like I said, this niggas that don't even vote. If he gonna be out here, a young Turk, <laughs> a Turkish gentleman who made oh. a television show or YouTube show news show like thirty years ago, or well, not thirty years yeah. ago, twenty Sorry. years ago. Yeah. Uh, or I guess digital platform news, alternative news back about 20 years You're ago. You're all over. I, I mean, I always, uh, I, I watched the Young Turks. I've been watching they're, them they're for funny. years before they're, they're, YouTube. They're, they're pretty funny, actually. They're funny, but they're self-righteous. Yeah, but like that's... Self-righteous. They're just, the, they're the, they're literally the progressive Alex Jones. Like, oh, God. I, I wouldn't say that. I don't yeah, think they raise the, any they're the, conspiracy theories. They well, first of that. all, first of all, they do raise conspiracy theories because they've 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 definitely promoted things that weren't founded or you know uh, confirmed. They, they go they go off of things just like they, I'm just but saying. As extreme, you, the, thing is, the thing is, the thing is, you agree with these people, right? So that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. We are all tribalized in this country right this moment so people agree with the alex joneses of the world and some people agree with these people i'm just saying you're not gonna see these type of topics really covered on regular news like they not mm-hmm. msnbc they not fox news these people like this is these are extreme yeah, left MSNBC these are extreme thug nasty lately these are sh- extreme left positions and these are extreme Oh my oh. God! The government removed. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Why do you don't want you to know? Why do don't want you to know? What's going on? Gotcha. He gotcha, got Bill. censored, nigga. Damn. <laughs> In regard to an upcoming solar eclipse on April eighth, far right wingers like Alex Jones, of course, are playing into it. Uh, now, for most of us, total solar eclipses. Let's see if they could just give us a. And I'm gone. Like, what? What is this? And NASA. Three schools. Apollo. Schools planned worldwide to usher in new world order. Let's watch. NASA is notorious for performing Masonic rituals based on the Egyptian mystery schools. Apollo character as Horus. <laughs> Y'all know about those. And Atlantis being the new golden age they hope to restore. And during the eclipse on April 8th, NASA will fire three rockets named after Apep, the Egyptian serpent god whose goal was to devour Ra, the sun. And when the sun reemerges after three minutes of darkness, it will be likened to the rebirth of Horus, their new king of the golden age. Yeah, what that the sounds fuck? pretty badass. What? <laughs> that sounds pretty sounds cool. What? That's what I would oh, also right. name that's my awesome. face yeah. shit. <laughs> Horus. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm right. It seems like a throwback. Oh, it was, I don't know who oh, Go one up. Olami Erlurni is, but with Anna, he oh, says oh. Anna went on a whole yeah, transphobic rant a few months weird. ago, and I'm not talking. He's a, I'm not taking them seriously no more. I haven't heard that, so I, yeah, I stopped Anna was fuck going her. crazy uh, for a while there. They, I don't know what was going on. They are. How do I say it? They are the progressive. They're the progressive elite, man. They are the progressive elite. So they're literally, they're on your side, right? They're on your team, but they are completely disconnected from what is actually going on on a day-to-day basis with the average human being. They're soft conservative. Because they, That's all they are. They're soft conservative. I, I wouldn't say it's called soft conservative because it's like uh, Martin Luther feel- King said this. Martin Luther King said this. He said, don't be worried about the conservatives. Be worried about the progressive Democrats because they're the ones who think that things are okay. They're going to be the ones that think that things are like, okay, once, once progressive progression happens, they'll be like, well, okay, we don't need to go any further because they'll see it as, well, we've given you this and you know, why, what 
because they're going to be the ones who are trying to fight for equality and all this stuff. But once they see that you've gotten it, they don't really see a reason to continue because then you're coming after they shit, right? Then you elect them to be in a space. Like people in the North were real cool with people in the South getting rid of Jim Crow until Martin Luther King showed up in Chicago. He was like, y'all got to let black people uh, loan money from banks so they can get a house. And they was like, fuck you, Martin Luther King. I fucking hate you. Like what? They called they called him a nigger more times than he been called a nigger in the whole time living in the South. Was, uh, he got hit in the you. brick. With, in, in, I, got, yeah, I hear you and I understand that more. completely. I'm saying like specifically with somebody like her. Let's use her as a specific example because she opened herself up for it by being a transphobe. Um, <clears throat> you can't skirt that line or try and live in that realm of being a super liberal and you're a transphobe that it, that'd be like oh i'm super liberal and i'm really progressive about my values um but fuck niggers you know like the niggers are still stupid you, that would be like that that doesn't that's asinine to me but people do it but people they still did, do they it. Be, right, because you could be dipping in all these different areas well you because you could be somebody who is ahead of PETA, but but you can hate black people. PETA's but got its own you could be, too. But you could be black and then but the I head of the people. NAACP and hate Asians. Like, yeah, hate Mexicans and shit but like that. But then that's like what that. I'm saying, but then you can't be truly like, you know. I agree. No I agree, but that that's why yeah. I agree, but that's why I was saying, bringing up that Martin Luther King quote, because mm-hmm you constantly have to be worried about everybody because everybody got like a, complacency is, is what brings up these feelings or uh what do you say uh breeds an atmosphere for these types of feelings to muster yeah. because you think that everything's good but everything ain't good ever like yeah. like we could work all day and try to fix the world's problems and every time we fix one, it's gonna be another one that pops up. Yeah. But, but that bitch must be stupid. She must have lost her whole goddamn mind. She must have did drugs that day. That Xanax is just kicking in because who is making fun of the trans community on TV? <laughs> she did two lines too many that day and was like, they "You know out. what? I feel like my womanhood is threatened." Yeah, she pulled a J.K. Rowling, and it's yeah, like, like uh, bitch, I mean, write children's books. Nothing happening to her. That bitch yeah. got two new parks and a whole new TV show coming out. There's a new Harry Potter, and that yeah, game was so not on Oh, oh game. right, right, right. Yeah, it's uh, going to be on HBO. Shit. Yeah. Now to get Holocaust denial or teetering onto it. Oh fuck. We can't win. Is anybody gonna go and see the omen? I'm just reading these comments. Oh, is it uh the first omen, right? Yeah, the first omen. Didn't they already do one titled the first omen? I feel feel like like they would have deja vu. Yeah, I feel like yeah, this omen's been born seven times. Or was it the first exorcist? That's the child. Yeah, they did the first. Ex- that was the first exorcist. The first exorcist, um, and then this is the first. So now omen. they're doing the first omen. Man, I'm tired. Oh, it's out. Right, like, I'm right tired now. of these first. I don't. I don't have to. I don't care about his mother. Was she also a, a demon? Um, right. <laughs> devil. Oh well, yeah, out. man. Right. They've been doing the exorcist. Since the exorcist, <laughs> like think about that. That shit came out in the seventies, and we still talking about the exorcist. My guy, it hasn't been good since that first one dropped. I don't know why they keep trying it. This one with the two little girls. I mean, they're like, we gotta kill the black one. Was, I was like, wait a minute. Wow. Is the is the is the first one good? Yes. It's yeah. It's very yeah. good. It's like a boiler yeah. Like, I don't know. I just watched it recently. Yeah, I just good. watched it recently, oh, and really I was good. like, I don't know. I it, think like it's, I mean, it's good off of the narrative. Of like, that's the thing. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because see, it may be good, but the question is, does it? Hold does up? it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yes, it's still scary as fuck. 
it's like the shining there's like you you're familiar with it you've seen it a thousand times but it's still gets you sometimes it's just it, ew. It's so just also like really good filmmaking and good themes and good Exorcist acting part three and is, is camera decent. work yeah did y'all see that Exorcist Edson? part three? Oh, so you've seen I Exorcist don't. part three it's I never decent seen it. Is it my I think favorite? The thing last ever? one that I, uh, I really like was the actress of, that of they did. Do y'all remember that Emily Paris? Rose? Repossessed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on TV so many fucking times. Wait, Emily Rose was scary as fuck. The it's exorcism the of that one bitch. I last like actually watched. Watched. I don't like oh. exorcism shit. That always scares me. Just I because it's like Paris lack of body control. Child. Like I thought yeah. that was awesome. That they never showed the baby at the end. I'm so mad. Right. I You're like, I gotta make sure that baby's possessed. If I don't see it, it's not it. real. Right. Yeah, that soundtrack. For sure. For sure. Like the last possession movie I liked was um Where Evil Lurks. Yeah. I, I, Lurks. I still haven't watched that one. Evil movies are really good. I heard it was really good. Yeah. I, thought, I caught that at Fantastic Fest. This past I watched yeah. one, but no. I don't remember the name that was my of it. Favorite movie of the fest. I watched a possession movie not too long ago. I can't remember the name. Of it. Or no, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I yeah. What was the one? The taking of somebody, somebody. That was crazy. The taking of somebody, somebody. I thought that yeah. was the taking of Emily Rose. No, was no, I thought, I thought was it was. Extra. Oh no, then of the taking of like hey frog somewhere, some white lady name, some old Judy Judy Belcher. <laughs> taking of Sam Laguti. Some old white lady name. Some old <laughs> okay. hey, can you hit that camel? I right, hear it is. Take that the camel. Of Deborah Logan. Oh, for fuck's sake, it is new purple. <laughs> Taking the Deborah Logan. I actually, yeah, that one was 2014. Cool. Thank you. That one did go hard. I remember that. You know what? I can't make fun of anybody for having a white ass name because my yeah. name is Kirsten Yeah, the taking of Deborah Logan called. where she like gets like that giant mouth at the end and she's like, ah, even that, yeah, that shit was that. Yeah, that was a good one. Stupid name. 2014. Yeah, look at her forehead. <laughs> that bitch was like, oh, oh, oh shit. Taking a stab. <laughs> Kirsten says she had a white name, and that shit's funny. Why does this have a forty nine percent? Because audio, because these this is audio is nuts. Yeah. Right. That's weird, huh? I don't know. I thought this is a oh, does it hold up discrepancy right here. Right. This yeah, is a, that's the, this qualifies for does it hold up for sure. When did this come out? I'm not gonna watch it. 2014. 2014. No, I'm not rewatching that. At once uh, was enough for me. It's not enough time. I, enough time has I, passed. I've been having a hard time watching scary movies by myself. So Why? I'm, I, I'm, scary, I've become man. a scaredy cat. <laughs> just do, uh, just do. I'm not as tough as I doing. used to. <laughs> yeah. Do push-ups while you're watching the scary. Well, movie it's also because I live alone, so it's like right. Yeah, man, I have to set up very specific apartment. like circumstances for me when I watch them because watch them all the time. Mm-hmm. I have to be in my bedroom with my dog mm-hmm. right next to me. All my yeah. blankets and covers, so I can cover my head at some point. Yeah. And the lights are all on. I have locked the bedroom door. I got yeah. my, my, I got my gun sitting somewhere nearby. Dude, like sometimes oh, I can't even like, watch like scary YouTube videos. You know, right? Yeah, I can't watch ghost <laughs> hunter like, shit at all. Uh, Othelia <laughs> says, "Same." I'm, he said, "I'm uh, same. No. I'm scary as fuck." Um, scary. I got a gun in this bitch. Let me tell you something. <laughs> the only time I get scared like that is like watching a YouTube video about some like weird like okay there was this one video where this <laughs> this dude had a like little asian lady living in his like in his apartment but she lived in like a like he yeah, had a crawl like, space he had a crawl space, space like coming out of the cabinets and shit. She, she was coming out in the middle of the night and like eating his yeah, food yeah. peeing in his sink no like, babe, like shitting that's in the sink Pissing no. on the scene. That's scary. Can't that's irritating. That. Is- and he's <laughs> watching his watching his TV. I mean, think about it. She could have killed Wait, this nigga. Which side? Day. Which side was it? The the just the drain part, or did she shit in the one with the garbage disposal? Because one's worse. <laughs> one is worse. <laughs> both bad, but one's worse. 
I, you know, she must have been hitting the garbage disposal because he did, he wasn't waking up and seeing nothing. He wasn't waking up and noticing that. I was, I, w- I was watching she a YouTube used, video. If she, if she used down. the bathroom and she flushed it, then he don't know that she flushed it. <laughs> what he don't if she flushed it? Shit. I, I was watching a YouTube video um, breaking down Perfect Blue, like the uh, older anime movie. And I was like, I, I can't watch this right now. It's too dark. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, <it's, laughs> I was getting scared. Yes, Ophelia. And, I, and I've seen that movie like six times. Yeah, but bro, man, like. Yes, nah. Ophelia. She was like bro, man from the fifth floor on he Martin. Was, bro, yes. man would show himself. It was just sometimes you would catch him all the time in your house. Well, he ended up putting the camera in his house. Introduced and, himself and was like bro, man from the fifth floor. He, yeah, he, he, knew who he was. He, he wasn't this mysterious ninja bitch that lived in this dude's house. Though. Yeah, because you know what? Yeah, day, you're right. Like, that, this is like straight horror movie type stuff. Just like you're right, Bill. Like she could have murdered this man. She could have murdered this I man. I didn't even think about murder. I was how long did it last? It lasted what if, a what if, long time. What if he'd have gone to the store and got cocoa puffs instead of fruity pebbles one day? And she just and was she like, her shit. yeah, just lost her goddamn mind. Just started stabbing this nigga to death. That'd like, be fucked up. <laughs> to be like, why did you do it? Well, one day this motherfucker went and got fruity pebbles. <laughs> did she watch him sleeping? Like, I just feel like. No, she would you know, know when he got to bed. Cause he was so like the way the crossface was. Hear her? Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. She was that up. dead ass quiet. Like she would just sleep during the day and just sit there during the day. How does she never move? Like she never I got a, a link that we can look up in the chat. This one has some videos right. from it. Let's see here. <laughs> 2009. It's oh not. It is funny. It's not funny, but it's funny. Oh my god! Look at this bitch. Get your feet off that table. <laughs> Young lady, get your feet down off that table. Nasty bitch. Family into millionaires. Oh, man. This is oh my God, I'm excited for the bisexual. <laughs> this is horn. This is horno. <laughs> this is just horno. I'm not watching this movie. This is going to be am, terrible. I will be I will seated be watching. for the bisexual tennis movie. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be. I don't care. <laughs> It's gonna be I soon. have watched this video before. Yeah. This is that creepy pasta shit from back when the old ages of YouTube. I would hope your girlfriend wasn't on top of that movable island. Well, I watched this movie about um it's called uh, I don't know what is it like what they call it frogging. And it's like literally just people living in your crawl space or like your attic while you're still living there. Oh, Wait, yeah. this is there's a there's a hold on, there's a whole goddamn lifestyle of living in a crawl space. Yeah, I don't think it's like actually real, like no, but frog is not like a real estate um phrase. I'm a realtor, by the way. Look me up if you need me. Mm-hmm. Um a frog is basically an above the garage, usually above the garage, like tiny apartment space. Mm-hmm. So yeah, okay, I guess so, yeah. is a weird way to do that, but okay. The same, I think. <laughs> Kick her she ass. She's getting it. This is like completely fake, right? No, nope. man, they took her to jail. How do you... <laughs> they took her as to jail. He he recorded Get a this. Cup at least. He recorded this because she started getting sloppy and he was like, I started noticing things move like in the wrong spot and shit like that. Well, the half drink milk wasn't your clue. You live by yourself. I think she was probably a little bit more careful at first, but you know, she probably was like, she probably was like watching TV. Yes, she was watching TV. (laughs) Yes. Yes, that's what I was saying earlier. She was just watching TV. I wasn't joking. She was watching TV. I would definitely notice if it was on the wrong channel. Right. Like, wait, hold on. Well, that's what I was it saying. Was I think she started. Like that's what I was saying. I think she started to get sloppy because, like, he he started noticing things in a, such a way that he went and bought a camera and put it up in his house. Like, you know what I mean? Like that. You because he had to think. He had to be thinking, man, I'm going fucking crazy. I can't remember how long he was. She was dealing with this. You know, this it's not the same. 
the really? Jewish people under that dude's apartment. Yeah, the dude who for yeah. And I hear but there's Jews. <laughs> Hey, man, we're people. not talking about inglorious <laughs> bastards. That's what we're not talking about. Right? <laughs> no, no, no. Wow. They're, under and they're my... like, you're just racist. Why would you say that? It's like, no, because I no. hear them praying. I hear, I'm not crazy. I yeah. Well, it's okay, a... before you pull that up, before you pull that up, I'm okay. gonna tell this yeah. real quick story because that reminds me of this story where Prince was like, he called the uh, his his management team. He's like, yo, there's there's like voices coming out of the wall in my hotel, and they were like, whatever, Prince, you're crazy. And he's Called the concierge, called the hotel management. Like, no, there's voices coming out of the hotel in the wall in my hotel room. So, like, eventually they got in there into the little vents and whatever because they started taking them serious and they were able to find that this girl had snuck and somehow gotten in between, like, gotten in the wall of the hotel and was singing to Prince through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That is that's ridiculous. Crazy. This this is not the same thing, but it kind of reminds me of when I thought I was losing my mind because my Netflix kept changing over to just Spanish. And I was like, why does this keep happening? And it turns out my Netflix was hacked. And it was a fucking entire because one day oh. they put their little profiles at the top and it was like Juan, Maria. And it was like, you fucking whole Hispanic family stole my Netflix. So no, I that's similar. So I locked them out and then I put Lucifer from the TV show Lucifer as my profile photo. And I left a message for like in the inbox of it's like if you do this again i will cut off your fingers oh no <laughs> would i ever do that no i'm not a violent person but i will but they know that changing my shit I'll just let them look keep it. she was <laughs> I'm she probably left it alone if i understood more spanish but no nah, man <laughs> it was that is similar though that's similar old like, profile that's Sorry, very man. similar somebody invaded your privacy Mm -hmm. And like hot, like hid, if and then all of a sudden they got cocky and they just start putting their feet right. up in your house and shit. Like, right? Uh, yeah, like uh, what the hell? Yeah. It's like Netflix. I'm gonna need you to like let I'm me get, you to free, do get me get me that shit for free for a couple months now. No, Netflix didn't care. You can email them all you want, but Netflix don't even respond. That's that. the benefit of having a company that doesn't have a phone number. Secret right. tunnel was found dug into the side. Oh, this one. Okay. <laughs> and, and, Woo! Look at this tweet my roommate sent me. The first tweet was back in November. He said, there are Jews living under my apartment. I hear them. It's like they are digging or something. We ground level and we do not have a basement. Once the Jewish guy got arrested yesterday, he quoted it and said, I am not crazy. <laughs> Another tweet from December of last year. I swear I keep hearing Yiddish under the floor in my New York apartment. <laughs> ground level and we have no basement. And then again, when these guys got arrested, he quoted and said, some of you owe me an apology. <laughs> <laughs> that is just hilarious. What the fuck? Because like, we all you, know. Because like, we all know he was being called an anti-Semite. Right. We all know I that he was fuck. getting called all kind of shit. I hear but the music getting underneath the scoreboard. What the fuck were they doing there? Yo, like November, like you just like... <laughs> You're Yiddish, clearly, but no, clearly, <laughs> clearly he has no friends because you need to have. No. That's when you need friends, right there. Because right, right, yeah, somebody to come out and be good. like, "No, nah, I was over at his house playing Xbox the other day, and right. yeah, I definitely yeah, heard the Yiddish." It's like either this is a Jewish burial ground or this motherfucker got. We do not Jews. have a basement. <laughs> 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 He's checking like the blueprints and everything. Like, hold on, is there? Okay, yeah, that would be so. I, I typed it into TikTok for later because I want to watch it again, and it's, I didn't even have to type it in all the way. I put Jewish people, and they're like, "Oh, secret tunnel." It yeah. filled the rest <laughs> for me. I'm like, wait a minute. That's interesting, <laughs> considering everything going on in the world today. 
Right. And you type in, you type in, like, it's people like, and that's what comes up first it's, thing. It's, 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 it's like when black people do something fucked up and it's on the news. You're just like, I bet a bunch of Jewish people are like, you had to do that. You had to fuck us up. <laughs> no, you, I, no you, know what? you know what? They still hadn't explained. They hadn't explained what was going on there. I bet you they was. They was just bad because it was like, you let them know our plans. <laughs> why were they building the tunnel? Yeah, I mean, they still haven't really said that. That's what I'm saying. They ain't said why them niggas was building no tunnels. Sure why it was. But... And nobody did no follow up on it either. Only reason you heard about it is because that shit, co- <laughs> them shit, the shit collapsed because them niggas came and the police came in there swinging and the police got beat up by the motherfucking rabbis. They ain't show that. <laughs> Oh my god, these Reddit comments. Jesus. The secret tunnel. They said the it's a reverse Anne Frank. And then someone said, my favorite sex position. Like, come on, guys. <laughs> Ophelia is crazy. <laughs> Ophelia is crazy. <laughs> what? They singing this here? Uh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> singing it in Yiddish. I really want. I, and yeah, I, Ophelia, you're right. It is. It sounds like something <laughs> that Kanye <laughs> West would say. Oh, <laughs> It does sound like Kanye. <laughs> like there's Jewish people in the Yeah, it sounds like Kanye like, yeah, toilet like, cleaning. Even if I was this man's friend, I don't think I'd come to his house at that point if he told me those exact words. Right. Like, hey man, yeah. I can hear Jews in my bed, Jews underneath my floorboards. They be talking in Yiddish to me. I'm like, no, I'm going over, over there. there. Like, I'm not coming over there. <laughs> you, you're going straight over there. I'm going like, straight I'm over there because like, I'm yeah, like. That man's house to hear. Like, Look, I'm just telling you right now. Can't. If Morgan, you. I've known Morgan for quite a long time. If Morgan called me and he was like, Secret "Yo, Secret <laughs> Secret <laughs> 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 Dude, man. Oh man, yeah. If he called me and told me he was hearing Jews underneath his his floorboards, I first of all, I would tell him. Get out of the house. <laughs> Get the fuck out the house. Run. First of all, run. And then come over here. And then we will assess your level of mental you know, well being. Met- mental well being. <laughs> then we're gonna go over there with some bats <coughs> or some guns. And we're gonna figure out what the hell is going on underneath your floorboards. Well, that's a that's an interesting thing too when we're talking about uh like exorcisms. I know like exorcisms are like very much like a Catholic thing or whatever. Yeah, so we never do any myth. um we never do any like other exorcist type movies. They have a form of it in Judaism. They do. I would like. Yeah, to see they touch on it in that movie. one horror movie where they had the. Du- I think it's pronounced Dib- book box. Dib- Dibbic box. Oh man, the I Dibbic box. Up. Yeah, that shit was scary. The Dibbic like, box was very big. And when so I was growing up, the Dibbic box was something else. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard to find the Dibbic box and own it. <laughs> <laughs> see, he says, "Yes, yeah, and own it." See, see. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad that. Okay, so uh, wait, no, a, no, man. This is a I don't box. have four boards. <laughs> it looks like what you just put fucking whiskey in, <laughs> right? It does, but it's supposed yeah. to be like filled with demonic shit. Yeah, it's how you hold a demonic spirit. <laughs> yeah, and then people be like opening that box, and it's like, no, nope. okay. now that's just that's a liquor cabinet. <laughs> that's just a liquor cabinet. Okay, so. Um, yeah, they're literally like little boxes with locks like that. Yeah, that's more like one. That looks more sinister. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. they usually sinister. have like sigils and stuff or what they would, whatever their word is. You guys watch uh, X Men yet? No, I haven't caught no. up with the last few episodes, yeah, and so I haven't watched Shogun yet either. What about Invincible? Like the last I've three? Shogun. Nope, really I haven't good. been watching shit. Uh, I watched just it. back from Michigan, uh, like. A couple, I mean, right before this, like an hour before this, I just got back from this. I watched Invincible today. And yeah, I, just I still watched, uh, think Mark is like the biggest fuck. punk ever. Just, I, I he's still getting his ass beat or what? <sighs> well, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> That's for Monday, okay. eight o'clock Pacific time. Plus, there's people who don't want it spoiled. 
Not even that much. Well, give me a second. I don't have a lighter. My lighter literally just fucking died. One second. Yeah, I just brought back like three lighters. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but that story is just crazy. Oh because, like, God. what do you <laughs> do? Just what do you do? I, I think it was like <laughs> some kind of housing scam they were pulling off. Was really I how it is. Housing it. scam. I think they literally just needed to get to church some faster way or something. I don't know. Yeah, but uh, like, walk around the corner. What happened? But I. I was betting that it was some sort of housing scam. Yeah. Um, let's see here. <laughs> I don't know what I would do in that situation. I think I would just like, because I'm not calling the popo. Mm -hmm. Is there not going to be much help anyway? And if anything, they're just going to beat the shit out of me. <laughs> Are you hearing that shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dude. I'm what? Lying. You know? <laughs> Tunnels. Um, did you guys see the videos of that earthquake that happened in Taiwan? It was like yeah. a yeah. point, whatever. Dude, that's some like surreal shit there. It is. I was yeah, watching the one like with it. like the um the the news anchor that was like still broadcasting as the as it was going on. Here, let me see if I can pull that up. I, I just saw one where a dude was on a rooftop pool as it was happening, <laughs> and I was like, that's uh, I think I did see that one here. But well, I think that the scariest one for crazy. me was when the people were on the above subway car and it was shaking. And I was like, yep, that's terrifying. I would not want to be in a subway car right now with the earth quaking. Right here. This shit is so crazy. 美系这种船出枪响再说呢 just want to first of all to everybody who was working in in the newsroom out there y'all motherfucking did it y'all did the thing cuz let me just tell you I'd have got a, I'd have got the fuck up out of there. Yeah, it's just so like sure. I wouldn't want to be around them lights dangling like that. Yeah, at least I'm not like, on camera. Like I'm, at the very least, I'm not. I'm not gonna be on camera. This is right the now. moment the earthquake hit, a magnitude seven point four, according to U.S. estimates. The this building just looks like straight up like inception. Landmarks. Violently shaking homes. This TV newsroom left swaying. As was this room. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was beautiful. And he was just like. Well, that was a different pool. That was a different like, pool. Like, Wait, like, pool, baby. <laughs> Water falling down another one in this building. I don't oh think that that's, God. I think that that's, you know, so some buildings use uh, water to like keep them from, like keep them balanced. Oh, actually, yeah, like, yeah. I think that's what that was losing because that was like water just, that looks, like, that wasn't no swimming pool. This right here just looks like inception shit right here. You know just what I mean? Like, miles from the epicenter, just, several buildings were left partially crumbled and dangerously teetering. Emergency workers searching for dozens of people trapped in damaged buildings or under debris. Annie Lima, an American living in Taiwan, was in Falien when it hit. My husband and I jumped to our feet and ran for the nearest doorway and braced ourselves, and we could barely keep our balance, you know, holding both sides of the doorway. And all around us, things were falling off the walls and off shelves, smashing and crashing everywhere. Can you pause it? Multiple. Mm -hmm. 
if as an American, you can guarantee yourself on one thing. If there's a, mm-hmm. if there's a natural disaster when you are out in a different country and there's a natural disaster, if you manage to survive, the news is going to find you and get you yeah. on TV. They'll be like, well, we found out that there was one white lady. Yeah. <laughs> so that makes it all the people so important. They interviewed and talked to, they talked to right. the white American person. You couldn't get someone that was from like Taiwan that just spoke English or something. You know, right. You had to exactly. the one white woman that <laughs> <laughs> she don't even live there. Like she don't even got uh, yeah. no ties to the fucking country. I, I can't wait for something to happen in Japan. I've been looking for them camera people. I got on TV once there. No man. No, after no, I like, I've it. already been on TV once, and it was during the uh the G7 uh meeting. Uh, last year, it happened to be in the like the next town over where I had to catch a bus set to get to my house, and I was just pissed as fuck because they paused all the bus travel right then and there because all the dignitaries were arriving all the time. And they're like, "What, sir? What do you think about what the G7 meeting is?" It's like, "I don't really care," but it explains all the police presence and why my bus is going. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to go home. I remember the G7. Well, I hope you're not over there when there's no disaster. I don't want you to be over there when there's disaster. I seen what happened to Toronaga, and I don't want that to happen to you. You got they had the earth collapse. We don't got no earthquakes like that. Not here. We don't have earthquakes that eat you in the ground like where the ground will eat your body. (laughs) But Californians are always waiting for the big one. When I lived there, that's all I heard about. Oh man, wait until that big one hits. Yeah, Yeah. where I live at is more of a Mount Vesuvius type problem right we're talking about the whole thing just exploding the whole state it just exploded i don't know what's worse though right <laughs> that might be worse <laughs> this is terry in japan <laughs> well, I don't know, no, you know what this like, reminds me of <laughs> <laughs> <It's hot springs. laughs> no, this, this reminds me of uh that scene the opening scene in um the righteous gemstones. Oh, uh, what season three? Or they're what? like ba- they're like baptizing a whole bunch people. of people. It's a no. it's like season one, I think, where they're baptizing. There's like a large baptismal in a uh, one of those surfing simulators, <laughs> one of the big wave oh, simulators. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. that, that I <laughs> oh, yeah, that. yeah. It was the wave pool at an amusement park, and then the yeah. wave turned yeah. on. That shit like, turned all of his... <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that was season one, episode one. Wave pool. No, I think it was season two because there we already two. knew about them and they had gone on the trip and then came back because that's when Judy started being like, "Why well, could not come on the trip?" Yeah, it's season Jones. It, but yeah, I definitely wanted it. Was, that was good. When is that show coming back? That's what I want to see. I love that. That's a good show. Um, yeah, I did want to ask you guys about. How did it go, baby? Uh, now you think yeah. it went? You had to put me in charge, and I ate some base that mission. Yeah, when 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 is the next one coming out? Whenever it is, we're gonna be covering it on the Drunk Banthas. It's a hard Great. show to cover because like TV 30 minute TV shows or 22 minute TV shows are hard to talk about. And um if they don't have like some kind of uh gonna build a mountain some kind of like connection going, you know what I mean? Like they do it. It's hard because if it's just like a comedy show and it's just like a good comedy show, then you're like, huh, yeah, that part was funny. You know no, what I mean? Mm-hmm. See, that's a okay or even what I would consider yeah. a bad comedy show. Because that's what that's why we can cover this one is because it's deeper. You know what I mean? It's right. when I mean deeper, not in the sense of its content, but it's got depth in the sense of like of the see. comedy. The comedy is layered. <laughs> this shit right here is what I was talking about. This shit is crazy. Um, I did want to talk to you guys about this right here. 
because this was oh, uh, man, no. oh because don't make us talk about that no you don't you don't want to talk I'm about so, that? i have so many questions I yeah know. let's uh come up with some I, answers i don't want to talk about it because it's uh, <laughs> weird and i don't want to like reveal questions i, I went down a rabbit hole where this, i was like this, Do you I mean, they have to fuck him at the same time, but like, old girl just watching. Oh, this is the worst third ever. This is, this is out. the thing. This is what I figured out. Go right? ahead. Go ahead. Maybe she's into that. Never mind. Bitch. There are asexual people, mm -hmm. and I believe that these two twins are, and very much realistically, you would say they're, they're that they just might be asexual. It seems pretty obvious. Like, unless they're both enjoying this, this. They're mm -hmm. right? Where are they from? Where are they from? They also met another man who was mm -hmm. in their asexual meetup group who was all and I would just say they, they are purely still romantic because you can be asexual and still be romantic with each other. Like they've said they're um, asexual and he's where, asexual. Where, no, they've never he's said that. They haven't where, said anything. They're only this he's, is my he's thought married to one of them. Go down the dark he's only married to one of them, you said? Yeah, yeah, he's, only yeah he's only married to one of them. Well, that's because you legally can't get married to two people. But he is technically married to two well, people. Yes, he's a, he's also technically married all, to one person. Has her own identity, birth certificate, and social security. She is a legally separate person. Yeah, no, I'm saying he's legally married to two people and legally married to one person at the same time. Yeah, that's just how that works. And who is and to say one that this China? We were talking about how you know. So that's what I'm saying. I'm just going to say that they are asexual. This is a asexual couple because trying to think of anything other than that is wrong. Like if they're both <laughs> like, like if they're both do it and it's she likes wrong to think about anything I other than that. Hold on. But I don't know if she is. Hold on. Let me just say this. Man. I don't know either, but I'm, just gonna, I'm assuming. I'm making a lot of I'm assumptions. Trying, yeah, I'm trying well, to well, let me, let me, let me, let me just lay it down. Way, let me yeah. lay it down. First of all, where are these people from? Because that tells us a lot. For uh, let me do <clears throat> here. While he's looking that up. The wedding think... was nice, though. I saw some video of it. It was beautiful. They look Southern. I'm going to just put that out there. You know. I don't think they are. And they're teachers, just... too. It's really. It doesn't, but, doesn't, but it doesn't. It only, that only matters for what, another thing that I was going to say. But you, they look like adults. Right? They don't look like, 30, like teenagers. They're 30. They're in their 30s. So. Yeah. Y'all think this is the first time that she. Done slap some cheeks and had to, you know, they they slapping cheeks together. Okay, it they, it already had to be out. The weird part has been all the way out the way for them for years, probably yeah. since high school. And maybe right? it's not weird. Maybe they both enjoy that aspect of the relationship they have to have because right. they enjoy it or not. Well, that's I what I'm know. saying. Yeah, I don't think it's weird to them. So then, what I'm saying is now it's just about finding a dude who is down with that. And now they found them a dude that's down with that. So now they got all they all in together now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, I'm not true. mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. Uh, Othelis, I, uh, like, can you put in the comments what you're yeah. what you uh um what you mean by the Gerard Kymer colon Tyler the Creator clip? And I can search it. Oh, were they making out know. again? Oh, they were? Yeah, I think so. That's okay. old news. Tyler the Creator, if it, there's not a nigga he hasn't well, kissed yet, I don't think. Well, yeah, I know. I did not him. know that about Gerard Carmichael, though. He's gay as fuck, yeah. Here is actual Terry. Have you seen the news? What timeline do you think we're in? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what you mean by that, uh, Mr. Uh, Plumage. And twins <laughs> have welcomed a new family member. Nearly three decades after the parents... Oh, Plumage is saying people are stupid. ...the Oprah Winfrey show... The girls are all grown up. Oh, this is the Oprah girl. Now a married mm -hmm. woman. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. Like records. I loved watching them drive. That was fascinating. Abby tied the knot with yeah. Josh Bowling in 20. They begin faded. You know, they begin faded. They lived in Minnesota, where the twins were born and raised. So they're from Minnesota. So they're definitely not southern. As a Christian no, I was just asking. I said they look so southern, but I was asking where he was from. And he reportedly served as an army medic before becoming a nurse. Oh, he got Abby a good Whitney's job. Following grew as they documented their childhood and teenage years on reality series like TLC's Abby and Brittany, but their adulthood has been spent mostly out of the spotlight. Now, 34 years old, twins are fifth grade teachers 34. and graduated from Bethel University in 2012. 
Abby and Brittany are dicephalous conjoined twins, a condition which rarely sees life expectancy last past infancy. While they have separate brains, spinal cords, and hearts, their organs from the waist down are entirely shared, and the twins each control one arm and one leg. Their parents were reportedly presented with the choice of separating them at birth, but given the surgery's risks and likelihood of only one baby surviving, their father told Time Magazine in 2001 that it felt impossible to choose between the two. Abby and Brittany previously confirmed a desire to Okay, find okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. This is Access Hollywood. This ain't Access Hollywood. This is Bantha Bunch. We didn't gave yeah, them too sorry, much just, love. Yeah, I was just like, I'm just there's just more questions that are like appearing in my head with that one line because they have different spinal cords, but they could so right i mean so that means what is, what is, what is well, your question what is your question i just what said are you it earlier they got one vagina they got one butthole yeah, yeah yeah they share the same organs from the waist mm -hmm. down that lady already told you they got the yeah. same pussy that's what she told <laughs> you they got right. the same asshole they got yeah. one Kirsten, I already told you. They got well one i mean but like if they have different spinal cords that does possibly you mean want what do you, you want to know do they have four well titties? that means that what you're no questioning? <laughs> no, that that means it, it. That means you could be hitting it right w with one and not for the other. <laughs> so you're saying what you're concerned with is that he's not blowing both backs out at the same time. Is that right? What like he, you, he cannot be like he might. Terry's over this conversation. Like, Look, he's fucking zoned out. He's got a different place. Brittany and Abby Hensel. Yeah, no, you know what? I need a shot now. I mean, it's be a really nice wedding. Well, because it was, it was really nice. This motherfucker is massive as well, by the way. Can we talk about that? Like, <laughs> yeah, what is, we need information on this nigga because that's what I was really trying to say is like, we know that she's good with whatever we want to consider is weird. She, angels, okay, whatever we want to say is weird. She's been or they have been okay with it for years, right? They're 34 years to be exact. Where did they get this nigga from? That's really where I'm trying to find out. Like, because you don't grow up going, I'm gonna date me a, a conjointed twin when I grow up. That's not what you think. Well, about. I don't think you go out in the world expecting it, but maybe you met them, fell in love with her. Well, right. I'm just saying the question. Those are the questions that I'm saying. I don't have any questions about them. I have questions about this gentleman. What are your intentions? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Not that he has bad intentions, but mm -hmm. what are your intentions? And he's massive. I mean, he's just freaking like uh, that's a tall dude. What uh, what Listen, what what, you, what was their wedding his... song? Can you um? Okay, give me the give me the where we belong. It, it takes two. Yeah. Oh man, that's a, I'm sorry. That's a good one. No, that was a good one. <laughs> It takes two to make a thing go right. Two hearts, two hearts that beat as one. That's, an yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Too legit to quit. Let's see here. Joy Carmel and Tyler Greer talk feelings. Let's see here. That's my favorite part of Party Monsters, that scene. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. No, they, they, they were cute. They're cute. Once, they're twice, lives. two times a lady. <laughs> that works. I said it's supposed to be three times a lady, but I had to say two times. Two times. Um, pretty Just the two of with us. E. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Boom, boom, you will not. Boom, boom. Yeah. I don't know why I have to do the Dr. Evil version. I just think it's better. Okay, this is uh, this is the film. I mean, I have to read these comments. Maybe they're singing yeah. Lady Marmalade. This is the one that uh, Pathelius just sent me in. Oh, well, they're in, talking in, to over Discord. So nice. Like a distance between us. I have an idea of what it is, but what I think what do you is think made that it is? awkward. It's because I told you I had feelings for you, and you we didn't talk about it ever. That was like weird. I don't know if it was just too awkward to talk about or too. What is this context? I don't know. This, uh, I don't know. Interview? It's just like I feel like you left me hanging. 
Oh, yeah, okay. Really so it's his, it's his uh, reality, his reality show, show on HBO. Who's Jared? Just dropped a day ago. Yeah, it's like a, a, yeah, it's brand new. Brand new. He was in Four Things just recently. Oh, yeah. yeah, he was. Um, he he was on yeah, he had a uh, Neighbors. I, I love the Gerard Chronicle show. Yeah, he had a TV he's good. show. He's good. Yeah. He's a writer. He's a TV writer mainly. Like when you yeah. said that, I he think had a I replied. Pretty good comedy special too. Um, uh, like maybe like three years ago, With like years something ago. super mad, normal, regular. Like you laughed and called me a stupid bitch. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I did. did. I did. <laughs> and I think I just like brushed it off. I know. I know. That's... Yeah. Getting news like that and then. Avoiding it is a way to avoid. Drop the skincare routine, Are niggas. They look flawless. That I wasn't. That it's was called being rich. Download. Glowing, oh, right? Yeah. Now Damn. We're here. Got that rich water. And I still don't know how to respond. Yeah. 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 Got them treatments. We're getting them treatments. I love those. My skin's so dry here in the desert. We got to get to it this with this shit because I got to fight Warner Brothers for this now. I think brushing that out <laughs> continuing regular will be such a dent. I don't know. Why do you have get- to stand up? Yo, does that hurt? The answer. <laughs> uh, he was standing up because he was getting a boner. So you stand up right before you get a boner. You stand up so you lose it. Are you wanting is that what, Does that work? It works for me. Not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you gotta have better timing. You gotta have better timing. You gotta have better timing. You gotta get up right that. before, like you gotta get up before it happens. So you I getting like, up right is already. Whoop, I heard it already depends on the type of pants you're wearing too. Like they can't be too thin. They can't be jeans. I think y'all just can't brother. do much of anything with that. Oh, well, they get like we get like ten uncontrollable ones a day, like. Most of them happen while we're asleep, but I mean, oh, that's we're right. fucking food. Uber Eats just came. <coughs> yeah, who the fuck is this bitch? What is going Room on? service. What is the context of what is going on here? It's a reality show. And yeah, I guess but Jared we just, told him just that he too, thought no, he, I mean, we're, I don't know. Yeah, but like, we're what? Why are they just being interviewed? Are they just sitting here talking? Is this talking a no, it's a reality show. Yeah. It's like the yeah, Kardashians, but, but, but a bitch digits. just walked out of nowhere. Okay, like, are they in a hotel? Room? Walk into are the they... hotel. Yes, that's room service. That little silver thing. Room service requires somebody letting you in. There's a TV crew in there, nigga. You don't think they have assistance and other? See, this people is what I'm saying. Like, I, like I said, this none of this makes sense. Reality TV show. I've never seen anybody <laughs> producer grab shit in a reality TV show and hand it to somebody. Like, producers don't feed people in reality TV shows. I don't think it was usually the that was a, opened the door. That was just I'm like just a, trying yeah, to get like, the context. I, y'all are I, telling I me, the, y'all are telling me no, everything I, that's happening in the video. I'm trying to get I, the context. No, of it, the yeah, video. it's very strange that like they included this like little mukbang in this like reality. I'm just trying TV to figure show, out like, what the are fuck you is watching going them on? eat all of a sudden. What are they eating? It looks fucking weird. Like a little, I don't know, like, like a maybe a cobbler. Of, <laughs> I thought it was like a just a bowl of cream cheese. I'm done. Like rich oh, people. Thank you. Oh. Not gonna finish that. These shots are pretty weird. Oh, I wasn't implying I wanted it. <laughs> I know I don't want any of that. No. I'm big straight. Big straight on that. I, I doubt that. Tyler been towing the line of bisexual life and of, sexual like, gay for like ten years now. Grow up. I mean, off future. Isn't that just like the whole off future game? <clears throat> what, that everybody in the future is pansexual? Probably. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You don't want to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. What did we just do? Why did we What did we just happen, Ophelis? <laughs> I don't know why we want to It's too late at night for this kind of analysis. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know. If I, I love that every now and like every he couple of this... fucking weeks, Tyler will make out with like a new nigga, and then the nigga will be like, "Oh, blah blah blah, gay, 
by whatever. And he's like, whoa, so straight. <laughs> so in life or this play is crazy. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to watch this gay ass show. <laughs> this is gay yeah, as hell. That was straighter than Tyler the Creator is. Sorry. Mm. Open the closet door. It's nice. Yeah, I think here. Tyler. I thought he came out, but I no, thought he was like at one point or something. All I know is that Earl Sweatshirt. Yeah, and then he like goes back has a girlfriend. So I think Earl Sweatshirt's gay. I mean, okay. I think he's straight. Pretty positive. I've met him a few times. I hung out with him over here. But Who? Earl Sweatshirt. Earl what? Earl Sweatshirt. Earl Sweatshirt. He was also in Odd Future. He's friends oh. with Tyler. Oh, I forgot his fucking shit with Sweatshirt. Yeah, Earl. And so all I'm saying is Earl. maybe everybody in that group what I think every yeah everybody in that group ended up being like pansexual, bisexual, yeah. gay, they lesbian. They're probably fucking. Because you got the internet, you got Frank Ocean, That's Tyler right. the Creator. Oh, I guess Taco. I forgot Ocean? about Taco. Taco. Do we right. have Frank Ocean? Because where is yeah? Where is where is, where is, where is, where is, where is what, Kate what Middleton? Where is Kate Middleton? Where is Frank Ocean? Show he showed up at Coachella, I guess, last year, played one song, and then said he had technical difficulty and bounced. <clears throat> where is Diddy? Where is Frank Ocean? Where is where are these people that we need we need to know? Kate Middleton, where is she at? Kate Middleton. She just dropped the line. Yeah, she's yeah. answered. Yeah, I like uh, uh, Kate yeah, that was that was the whole conspiracy. And we uh I mean the media completely blew that you know, fucking sometimes we just but at the same time. You know, like people are curious and they were being fucking weird about it. Yeah, they're not like really answer. Weird about well, it. look, I'll tell you about there were people were being... like she's not not dead. Well, no, right. it's what? the reason people <laughs> feel like they should know is it's like you either you either your per, your position is either necessary or it's not. And if it's right. not necessary, then we don't need to know. Like, yeah, if we if we don't need to know what's going on, then your position is not necessary. Right, true. Exactly. So I feel like it's a different situation for Kate Middleton. And then they like were releasing all these Photoshop photos and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's too. really weird. Well, You're what a if I told ass, you? But you don't have better assistance? Like, come on now. Yeah, it's it, it's strange. It's very strange. I mean, but what if I told you? Mm. That's really Kate Middleton with cancer. They brought Kate Middleton clone who has cancer so they could test cancer drugs on her. They're going to test cancer drugs on Kate Middleton's clone while Kate Middleton is in cryogenesis. Okay. See? Yeah. Real Kate Middleton is still missing. So where is Kate Middleton? You know what I'm talking about? They, uh, they can't put her brain out and then launch it into space. That's right. Open up your third eye. You know what I'm talking about? Like, this is what's really going on out here in these streets. I'm just trying to educate y'all. You know what I'm saying? You open your open your mind. You know what I'm talking about? Just for a second, open your mind. We got a note from the palace. Uh, Bill's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, this post says oh, the last scary. 30 years, if the US jump scare indeed. I didn't even know who it was at first. It's just old white man. The one in the corner oh is God. Al Gore, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Al Gore. I have like facial blindness with him. Every time mm -hmm. I see him, I'm surprised. I'm like, that can't be it's, Al. He's Joe White man. I'm trying to tell you. Joe White man. Obama. Like, if Al Gore wasn't, uh, you know, like a politician, you would just be like, this dude's just Joe White guy. You know, mm -hmm. he's just a regular old white guy. He'd be a, like yeah. a bad pretty sure minister. Seen that's most of them. That's like ninety percent of Congress. But he's just—he's um, a, a big motherfucker, though. How is Mitch McConnell still alive? That's the real conspiracy. Because there is a oh, look. This God. is the only if I don't—I'm not religious, but if I was to believe in the devil, if there was going to be evidence that the <laughs> devil exists, it would be that Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell are still alive. 
They're like yeah. the triad. Who's the third? It's like, uh, yeah, he act, it was like Mitch, Mitch McConnell's actually been dead for the last 15 years, 20 years. Fuck, mm-hmm. you would think. Remember when his hands turned black? Yeah, he's, yeah. he's been dead. He's just, he's been dead. Remember yeah. Death Becomes Her? That's what it is for him. <laughs> Like he's been dead, but as long as he keeps his body to, intact, then he he won't uh, have any issues. But he went up there and he's like, "Oh, I, I I'm going to be though. retiring uh, from You're Congress at the end tomorrow. of my term." You're out of here, Gary. Oh, oh, bye. We love you. All right, bro. Take it easy. Appreciate you. Bye. Bye. This this will probably also be my last topic of the night, Julie. Yeah, I definitely want to get this one out before we get out of here. Yeah, uh, for uh, for the Silver Surfer. Yeah, I what don't buy it. It's not no? the gender thing. It's just that I don't think she's gonna. She's not. She's neither built nor tall nor nor silver surfer like. I wouldn't. If she's not believable as an alien that's powerful. I'm sorry. She's a good actress. Hey. I like her. Okay, I feel like she does have a little bit of like the the face to pull it off. You know what I mean? Because you know you don't have to talk that much as the silver surfer but then we're going to have to get like all her origin story there's going to be a lot of time dedicated in that movie i feel Mm -hmm. like to like making her the silver surfer or yeah whatever that but doesn't he come from space he yeah uh, yeah he does i'm just gonna tell you right now man this is uh this is stupid um now i'm I'm thinking that maybe because I've been watching uh, the cartoon Silver Surfer, like rewatching it, not mm-hmm. even like before this news even came out, before I knew they were even trying to cast a Silver Surfer. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I've just been rewatching the cartoon, which they had a lot of scroll and Cree shit in there. Like, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. It, was, it was really <laughs> it was really dope. So we're, I think we're definitely going to see that because it's the main villains of the Fantastic Four type shit. Mm hmm. But you know where they botched this, and now they're they're like, oh, we we really need to use her because this is the vibe we wanted. They shouldn't have had Amelia Clark on Secret Invasion. They should have had her as Silver Surfer if that was what the end game was going to be was to well, gender bend this character. The problem is gender bending the character in general. Like, you're, so the first time we introduced this character to the He's got universe. A it's like the first time we're going to introduce this character to the universe, mm-hmm. we're going to use an alternative character. Well, that like that makes our main universe an alternative universe yeah. off the rip. Well, it could be like Earth two or three or four. That's how they're getting away with playing fast and loose with this. Yeah, but that's what, we have the multiverse. But that's what is stupid. That's what makes it stupid. Like, so where are we? Are we in this verse or that verse? Like, what? Where are we at? And that's that's why people are hating these movies because nobody there's no definitive answer to what we're doing. Where are we going? Like this yeah. is all over the fucking place. And like I'm saying, like like it, okay, make apocalypse a female then when we get in here because it just doesn't matter. We could whatever we're gonna mm-hmm. we're just gonna do whatever the fuck. But I think but that's, that's the point is that it, it doesn't matter. These characters were made up at inception. They're made up now. Like, well, it does matter because, mm-hmm. like, Don Quixote, I'm not fixing to tell the Don Quixote story where it's, like, mm-hmm. uh, Donna Quixote. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. It, 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 there's plenty of female characters to use in the comics. Why not? It's the same thing they do with black characters. Let's just make him a let's make him black Johnny Storm. There's like hundreds of fucking black characters to use in Marvel. Yeah. Pick one and actually tell that story and make it make it work right. because they and all they fit oh, in yeah. like no, they I make they right. make it they make it like comics are racist. Yeah. Because I'm comics aren't sexist, like comics aren't racist. It's like y'all just need to fucking look at the story and find one and make that make that shit. It doesn't yeah. require like we aren't stupid as an audience. We don't require you to placate to us. Like there yeah, hasn't even been a Silver Surfer yet. Like let's get the Silver Ooh. Surfer in, then let's do the female Silver Surfer. Maybe. Well, with um the but what I feel with the Marvel thing, I almost feel like the X Men, if they get all that right, they will 
you know, would revive the MCU. I f- yeah. feel like the Avengers are kind of done, you know, yeah, for now. A little played out at, at this juncture, this current iteration. And that includes all the side quest characters that are part of the Avengers as well. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you were, comp- and I, I've uh, basically said that same thing too, Bill. It's just like, there's no path or like we don't really i mean especially with kang and jonathan majors like we don't have a thanos or an avengers level threat that there's really a concern for or like a definitive plot line that we're actually going to be looking forward to uh achieving we will even if we like had um and and, uh, yeah but i mean that's what that's what they're gonna do well, well it's so like here's the thing though too we should have had some shit figured out by now like if we're even tracking like you know phase one of the mcu we would have had an avengers movie by now like in correspondence with like how long it's been since like phase four and phase uh what what fucking phase we're in phase five right now so we should have had at least like one avengers movie but they haven't been able to bring all of these people together and they keep on having like all of the well, to be, shows and to be yeah. fair, they, 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 they pushed out, they, they set the Avengers movie out for where it still is. Mm-hmm. Um, like they just haven't tried to put anything together. Like, all right, peace out, Delius. We're about to get out of here too, but appreciate you for coming through, bro. Mm-hmm. Always a pleasure. You keep it rocking in the comments. Um, but like, I'll bring up like his comment earlier. Mm -hmm. casting isn't the issue the lack of direction is the issue marvel just doing shit to do it right now and that's what i'm that goes back to what i was saying it's like yeah you're just doing shit to just have this bitch in something like because her contract says she's gonna have to be in x movies and this with the studio and that doesn't make sense to me because It's the number one sign that your movie gonna be bad. I'm just gonna ahead and yeah. put it out like, tell me one time where this actually worked. You did yeah, it's anytime a, it's it did gender bending or, or racial bending. Well, it's, it started with Del- with Daredevil. Mm, yeah, in the in this community, in the uh, but anytime they do it in what comic do you mean with movies, Daredevil, the first Daredevil with Ben Affleck had uh, Michael Clark Duncan playing the Kingpin. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Terrible yep. movie. Uh, yeah. Most recent, we got. You might have Thor. actually been one of the best parts of that movie, though. To be honest, it was a terrible movie. You're 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 wild, but right like, now. but I mean, <laughs> he, I feel, it was movie. a he terrible was movie, but part. I feel yeah. like he was the best part of it. No, I felt like Colin Farrell as Bullseye. I felt like his part was absolutely ridiculous. Um, <laughs> maybe John Favreau was John Favreau was the best part of that movie. I, I I can agree with you there. He was the best part of the movie. Happy before happy. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. my point was just that, you know, they don't have to do this. This is a sign that it's going to be a bad movie, though. Um, yeah. Whenever you do this kind of stuff. Like, right. like uh, we just had Thor. Before that, we had uh, Thor, Michael uh, B. Thor Jordan. Was bad. Michael B. Jordan as a... Uh, as as Johnny Storm it was just ridiculous. It's none. It's unnecessary. Then then before that they was talking about J- Michael B. Jordan being being Superman. It's like, dude, what about Icon? No, what about Icon. That's that's like one of my favorite black. But isn't there a black Superman at some point? I thought that was in the comics at some like. There is, but it's there. also just Elf Worlds. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not like actually Superman. It's not Clark. Again, Kent. we're dealing it's, with um, that Earth One, Earth Two, or Three bullshit. Yeah, right. No, this is just a dude who's not Superman at all. Like this dude's not Clark Kent. He's just a black mm-hmm. dude with powers, like Superman. Who's? It's not Black Superman. Icon is the Black Superman. In see, y'all do y'all know who Icon is? People in the chat, people here. Like Icon is a dope ass Black Superman. Like who really does have a comic book series that's really popular. Like, it's crazy. What about Black Panther? We just not going to do that no more? We forgot about that? That's just not going to happen no more because we don't know what to do because this nigga died. Like, they don't want to admit themselves that that was a bad idea not to recast him. They don't want to admit to themselves that that was a bad idea. But you should have recasted him because now we don't have nothing to prop up these next five years of fucking terrible 
planning that they've done so far. No direction. Yeah. Is that mm-hmm. icon? Yeah, that's icon. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I think they're thinking the Thunderbolts is going to be this like season's Avengers, but that's not what the fuck Thunderbolts is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going to be a TV show? Thunderbolts? No, Thunderbolts no. is a movie. Well, that's good. It's going to have all. I saw the, Florence Pugh all doing them. like a little promotion for it. Yeah. yeah, that's what I saw as well. And then Harrison that didn't well, help. actually Harrison Ford is going to be. Yeah, Red he Hulk. took over yeah. for uh, what's his face because he died. Mm-hmm. So he's the the is he a colonel? I don't know. He's that asshole guy from Iron Man. Oh yeah, Val, yeah, yeah, yeah. Balzod. So it's like yeah, it's not even. Um, so this is uh uh this is like the Elseworlds Black Superman though mm-hmm. what yeah. I was referencing, which is uh, like he's ba- he's badass too. Yeah. But like we don't really need him to do that. Like you said, just do you know Superman and make you know him icon. Why mm-hmm. not? Yeah, let's just do the real. Let's just do the ones that exist. Is all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. There's plenty. Yeah. Of them. I feel you. I feel you on that. I definitely feel yeah. you on that for sure. Um, well, before we get up on out of here, I just want to say thanks to everybody who's been watching, dipping in and out, and anyone who's been hanging with us tough. Uh, this is the Bantha Bunch show. Um, we do this every Thursday, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. I'm trying to work on that Bantha Bunch song. I'm working on it. I finally recorded it. It does it hold up like recording. So that's going, that's going awesome. But um, <clears throat> Kirsten, mm-hmm. why don't you let the people know where they can find you? Oh, well, you know, mostly at home. Oh, shit. Oh, you mean on the <laughs> internet? <laughs> uh, well, I am on Twitter, the cesspool of the internet. It's Kirsten underscore Cobb. Or no, it's Kirsten Cobb one on there. Instagram, it's Kirsten underscore Cobb because I got real creative with the screen names. You can find me. <laughs> you can find me anywhere. It's my name, Kirsten Cobb. If if you type that in, I'll pop up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, not where can the people find you, my friend? You can find me on Nine Nerd Yards <laughs> <laughs> on Nine Nerd Yards, and that's Nine Nerd Yards on everything. That's Instagram, TikTok, uh, also. Twitter, you can, uh, you know, me communing in the cesspool of X is <laughs> if you wanted to call it that. Um, and I should be, you know, I'll be dropping another video or at least just like reposting another video on 900 Yards while I'm working on this yeah. other um, uh, bigger project. And um, oh, yeah, thanks everybody who did uh, check out the Dragon Ball Z video. Um, really uh, got some nice comments with that. People seem to really appreciate it. So if you watched that and uh, you liked it, um, thank you very much. If you hated it, uh, tell me about it. Let me know why you hated it. <laughs> I can handle criticism. <laughs> yeah, don't be a hater, though. You should, if you hated it, then you're definitely a hater. Hate it, like it. Yeah, don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. Live your best life. Well... You guys know where you can find us. You can find us on Likewise, Spotify, Apple Podcast, uh, and uh, basically everything social media wise. Instagram, drunk underscore banthas at in at uh, at Twitter. I kept trying to say X, but I was like, do not say it. Don't you don't fucking say it. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drunk underscore banthas at Twitter. Drunk banthas on everything else. It's been a pleasure to hang out with you guys. Um, what else do I got? Also, if you catch a, a drunk Banthas or Nine Nerd Yards commercial, it's me that does them. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, you know what I'm saying let, let the people know. Let the people Talent. know. Tag on yourself, man. Yeah, it's it's all kids <laughs> and it's all love. I do all the graphics. Yeah, hit her up, the DM her if you want some. You want some done, man? We that we get it down. We yeah. get it in. We get it in. Mm. So shout out to all y'all, man, who've been hanging out with us this long. I can't believe you've been, you're still here. Uh, but you know go what? Ahead. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> Peace. Bye, bye.